Ciao a tutti! Ciao Davide, come stai? Ciao Luke, ciao Luke, sto molto bene, grazie dell'invito. Oh, grazie Sono per... Sono onorato sì. di essere sul tuo canale. Oh, dai! I, you, you've invited me more than once on your channel and I have uh, uh, long awaited the opportunity to have you qui con noi e oggi. Ciao a tutti! Oh, ciao Ra Which Raff. language are we speaking, Luke? Uh, L'italiano. Ling L'italiano. Come si chiama? L Bravo. Beh, l'italiano è la lingua ufficiale dell'Italia con tutti gli anglicismi che usiamo. Come abbiamo, vi as we have seen, in fact, on... Yeah. And I, I really like that video, that's really good. Oh yeah, a proposito tutti, by the way. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed to Podcast Italiano, you absolutely should, and that's the uh, address, because that's Davide's amazing channel from which I've learned un sacco di cose, a lot of oh, stuff. Wow. Yeah, no, really, wow, for wow, wow. over the past year. And it's been, uh, been fantastico, specialmente perché... Um, well, we're always learning a language. I'm always in a process of studying Italiano. And today we're going to talk exactly about, about that. Um, and I want to speak uh, almeno un po' di italiano. And if you, anyone out there doesn't understand either inglese well, or italiano, just go ahead and ask your questions like, wait, what did you say? What's, what's that about the I what? You because were, I like you were about to say, go ahead and go F yourself. <laughs> No, we would never do that. No, no, <laughs> I, 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 on, al contrario, I, absolutely on the contrary. Actually, there's someone in the comments, I don't know who that is, who wants us to speak Spanish. Habla de español, por, porfa. Uh, ¿Quién? Qui no, 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 no. <laughs> I think that's someone oh, might Oh, yeah, habla español, por, ah, okay, yeah. Pues sí, podemos uh, hablar español también, sin problema. Po podemos, podemos, pero oggi... <laughs> Let's stick to... Hoy, oggi yeah, popio <laughs> italiano. Quindi, uh, yeah, I have been um, going through a, an, an interesting uh, experience the past uh, few weeks because I've um, wanted to really start improving my Italian because I took a you know, test a couple times years ago when I was an Air Force officer long ago. I was able to take test for um, Italian and uh, at the, I was, uh, I would even send me to Italy for, to Salerno, which was great for uh, un mese and I was able to uh, improve my Italian while I was there and I took the test and I was C2 at the time. So I'm at that level um, and I'm very comfortable speaking Italian and certainly listening to Italian with no major difficulties. And yet I'm definitely, obviously, not nearly as capable because non parlo d'italiano da, so da, da piccolo. Um, and so I, I've, uh, I thought like, well, what can I, what can I do uh, about that? And uh, Davide, your uh, English, of course, um, is is uh, extremely remarkable. I know I'm not trying to to to, uh, to flatter thank you, you thank but you, thank you very much for your compliments. <laughs> You're very welcome. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, very on honored. <laughs> Honor no, uh, gem Gemini, honored. 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 Bravo. Honored. Yeah. So we never we never pronounce the H, but we're gonna make we're gonna pronounce the H in the only word that doesn't need it. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Just throw them all in. Which was yeah. in fact and fascinating. Actually, that's something we do a lot. Like mm -hmm. there's this hyper hyper correction phenomenon where we add the H to every word starting with a vowel. So we would say, I don't know. Um hi ham <laughs> hi ham Davide. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, <laughs> it's, it is wonderful. And it was even happening to some speakers of Latin in the first century BC. Catullus, uh, Palm 84, if I'm uh, if not mistaken, has a great example of the oh, misuse cool. of that exact sound. Because of the, H. the H was dropping, so people were... Or, or and, no. and also was a, um, because of the aspiration of Greek, which has uh, the H not only on vowels, but also on consonants. So a difference between uh, ka and ka was a phonemic difference in Greek. And so Romans were, at least some Romans were doing it to be fashionable, to be chic. Oh, cool. And they ended up making fools of themselves. And Catullus makes fun of, fun of them for getting it wrong because so. But also natively, it was good disappearing for some speakers even that early. Um, not as a general rule, but definitely to some degree. So it's and, and nor normalissimo. This is, you've been doing Normalism. this for 2,000 years. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> Quindi. sono sempre esistiti. Infatti. Eh, bene, quindi, bene. Uh, Dimmi. Oh, no, I, uh, to our, our viewers, what we're going to do today is talk about this 
because Davide has um, done incredible things to learn uh, English as well as Russian to, an, I think, an impressive level, much better than my very, very, very low intermediate at best level of Russian, my late oh, yeah, beginner. But you know a million languages, so like, no, I, you know, uh, how many languages fine. do you know? Ten? I know Italian and Latin, and that's Japanese, it. Italiano, lingua latina. Io so Satis. poche lingue, quindi sì, quantitativamente tu, tu, ne, tu mi batti. Uh, però sì. Qual è la lingua che sai meglio? Il latino, sì. Sì, 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 assolutamente. Sì, 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 Perché latino. studio ogni giorno, parlo ogni giorno il latino. Sì, e sì. Per me, an, infatti, purtroppo, ehm, beh, quando parlo latino non faccio italianismi. Uh -huh. Però quando parlo italiano faccio qualche latinismo perché mi torna un'espressione, un modo di dire molto più, non so, è, è, ad esempio a me torna molto facile dire sine intervallo, senza interruzione, però vuol dire okay. continua, continuously, without an interruption, uh -huh. and, um, and uh, I find that to be... Um, sì, usi molti perché... latinismi, anche ah. latinismi, anche pronunce latino ho notato. Anche ho lo, le vocali molto... lunghe, io preservo fino a queste... <ride> esatto, tu, tu sei contrario alla caduta delle vocali lunghe. <ride> Reintroduciamole in italiano, facciamo un movimento per la reintroduzione. Sì, di direi cosa tipo uh, non umano ma umano u, umano sì, con certo. una u, u, no? u uh... no? eh, si capisce però a lot of my final o and e end up long like um, parlo sì. uh, parlo con te non so un po' troppo <ride> così sì. Sì. È, è una bella cosa una bella cosa pensi penso che tu sia una delle poche persone al mondo che parlano come dire, un italiano influenzato dal, dalla propria conoscenza del latino, però... Ma ce ne questo, sono. Questo ti rende ce unico, sono. ti rende... No, eh, ci sono... C'è qualcuno che dice in... Davide's voice is slower. Devo alzare, It's forse. Lower. Posso alzare un non po' so. il volume. Come, come... Dal... How are our levels? Come sono i livelli, ragazzi? Diteci. Dici. Levels, levels. Ah, 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 ah. Se, a me Va sembri... bene così? Posso alzare uh... anche un po' di più? Posso alzare anche dal microfono? A me sembri... No, I don't know. So. It sounds fine to me, però... Yeah, so, but dici... Well, yeah, but we, we can't compare our levels because, you know... Well, I have... Well, I, I, I can. I can. Posso. Perché? Oh, I have you... you at... I have you at middle range on my own listening device. Auscultabulum. Now there's an... I'm like, what is this <laughs> I, called? Auscultabulum. Uh, that's interesting. It's a, it's a very Latin word in Italian. Auricolare. Auricolare. Possiamo I thought anche you would dire use in, that Latino. In, in Latin as well, because it's very Latin in Italian. No, eh, si può, auricola, allora, si può dire però anche auscultabulum, è un'altra parola che ho sentito dire, non so dove, I mean, dove, that's però. a neologism, so everybody can say what they want. I like a, I auricolare, yeah, it's a little, a, little, a little better. Però, yeah, I, um, so what I, I want to uh, have us explore, and also the questions mm -hmm. from our audience about how to get better at Uh, Italian, how to get better at English. I imagine a lot of, I know there are a lot of non-native English speakers who uh, visit this channel um, as well as yours, and I'm sure they might want to know, well, of course, learning Italian, but how do, how do they get better at, um, at English? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, insomma, well, let's, I wanted to ask you, Davide, then, first about, uh, yeah, how did you, I mean, I, I, Uh, with, sen, do you say that is this an Italian idiom? This is how confused I am. Senza fare complimenti is that an idiom? Without making compliments, I, uh, I, I, I don't even know anymore. Non, non fare like... complimenti. Sì, no, non that's fare not what complimenti, I want. Si dice. Non voglio fare complimenti. Però um, I'm incredibly impressed by um, your uh, uh, mastery of English phonology, uh, especially compared to most Italians. So even if they can speak some English, they they never are able to speak with such. Um, Uh, especially an American style accent, which um, oggigiorno it's more more popular. But mm -hmm. um, grazie, grazie mille. Yeah, and also uh, um, your level of comfort with the language at a technical level is incredibly high. So how did you how did you get there, and what do you do? Okay, um, should I should I answer in in Italian or in English? Come vuoi? Come ti torna? Okay. Ragazzi, se, se non capite... I'm going to start in English. So uh, <laughs> I'm going to prove myself. I, I'm going to prove what you just said wrong. I'm, I'm going to show that my level is not that good. But actually, I think 
you know, there's this cool, there's this interesting idea, uh, or not idea, maybe it's a, it's a phenomenon, where if you have a good pronunciation, a master, master of a language, a language's pronunciation system, you're gonna sound, mm, you, it's gonna sound like you have a better command of the language, even, even if maybe you don't know that language very well. Not, mm -hmm. not to say that I don't know English well i think i do but still having a good pronunciation makes you sound better i think um you know, it's mm. it's happened many times to me where i would just you know say one sentence to a native speaker and they would reply oh you speak amazing english and my instant th thought was how do you know i've just told I, i've told you one thing i've uttered a single sentence and you're judging my english based on based off of that one sentence that's a little weird but anyway that's not what you asked so um i started learning english in middle school um so when i was 11 actually most people nowadays in italy start in elementary school so when they're five or yeah five or six wow. maybe so I, I started think. a little older than most people because I took French in elementary school. Um, and my memory isn't very good. So I don't recall how... I, I think I enjoyed English in middle school. I think I... I you know, I think, that, I think it was a subject that I already liked back then. But, um, you know, I wasn't a fan of language learning. As a matter of fact, I didn't like French at all in elementary school. So... But I remember I, I used to listen to music in English thanks to my brother who turned me to um, American rock and American mm. rock music, metal music. And so I already, you know, my contact with the English language was uh, through music, basically, before even studying the language. So then I started taking English in school, like everybody. And, but at the same, and so in, in school, you learn the grammar, you learn the basics and all that. But I remember that I was, at that time in middle school, I became a fan of a, of a band, um, which is an American band called Dream Theater. Uh, they're not very popular. Um, they're kind of, kind of a, they play a niche genre in metal, but yeah, I'm a metal head. I have to make this confession. And this so, great. why did I not know this about you? Were I don't know. I used to have long hair, by the way. Uh, I back see. Then. Yes, I did. I, I, I also I used to have, have you know, hair. Well, <laughs> oh, uh, used to have normal hair. I used to have long. <laughs> like come, Raff, come Raffaele Trigiano, ah, i capelli come lui very un tempo. Very cool. <laughs> and so, so yeah. And, and that helped me a lot, not because I was learning through, like, lis by listening to the music or by reading the lyrics. Not, I mean, maybe a little bit, uh, but I remember I was, I remember I used to go to the message boards, to the f online forums of the band and reading what the fans were talking about. And that was really exciting because, you know you could read about you know speculations about new records and what was going on in, in in the band's world and my english wasn't very good back then but i remember trying to translate words that i didn't know trying to figure out what they were talking about and that was something that i remember doing and i think that helped me a lot um i remember you, I mean, yeah mm. uh, okay passo all'italiano poi mi ricordo che c'era già YouTube, mm. eh, era nei primi anni di YouTube, era 2008-2009, oh, okay. e quindi usavo anche YouTube per guardare video, che interviste sempre di questo gruppo, mm. eh, ero davvero appassionato a quell'epoca, e quindi in questo modo ero, mi sono proprio immerso nell'inglese senza voler imparare l'inglese, cioè l'inglese mi piaceva come materia a scuola, dicevo, ma... Mi sono immerso abbastanza naturalmente. Poi da lì cosa è successo? Poi al liceo ho continuato ovviamente a imparare l'inglese. E... 
ero, ero già il migliore della classe, lo sono sempre stato, modestamente, modestamente parlando. Well, it's okay, you're saying it in Italian, so only a fraction of the audience heard that, so you're fine. Ok. <laughs> Um, sì, perché avevo avuto questa immersione in contenuti ormai da qualche anno e poi cosa ho fatto? A un certo punto ho iniziato a guardare, ho scoperto le serie tv in inglese, quindi ho iniziato a entrare nel mondo delle serie tv, prima le guardavo in inglese con i sottotitoli in italiano, poi a un certo punto ho messo i sottotitoli in inglese, quindi anche quello mi ha aiutato tanto, poi... Ripeto, la mia memoria non è molto buona, quindi non è che non ricordo esattamente cosa facevo, però sicuramente ero immerso in un mondo di contenuti e, e l'inglese mi piaceva molto. Ho sviluppato proprio, a un certo punto ho sviluppato una passione proprio per la lingua, mm. eh, mentre all'inizio era un po' tutto casuale, quindi l'inglese era più uno strumento che usavo per andare in questi forum e vedere di che cosa parlava mm. la gente. A un certo punto ho... Ho, ho iniziato proprio ad appassionarmi alla lingua in sé. Mi ricordo mm. poi, a, in terza liceo, um, oh, feci questo esame, questa certificazione, uh, che si chiama um, First Certificate of English dell'Università di Cambridge in Inghilterra, um, e che era a livello, credo, B2, sì, B2. E, e quindi per prepararmi a quell'esame ehm, decisi di mettermi a parlare perché non, non, non parlavo, prima non avevo mai parlato, cioè parli a scuola pochissimo, quasi niente. Quindi mi misi a parlare cercando persone su internet, questa fu mm. una cosa che, che mi aiutò molto. All'epoca c'era il sito Conversation Exchange, non so se lo usavi. Credo. You know, conversation Exchange. Eh, se, sì, mi sembra familiare un nome, ma c'era anche i, uh, ma i talk e qualche altra applicazione. Mi, mi... Eh, non so se c'era già i talk, forse c'era, mm. però i talk era diverso. Sì, ma come era? No, ci, ci c'era sono... Share Talk. Sì, tipo us usavo anche in Giappone quando cercavo di imparare giapponese. Alla fine ho trovato degli amici vivendo a Tokyo con cui ho potuto... E con cui ho potuto, uh, non so, andare alle feste e imparare il giapponese, così, quindi, mm -hmm. sì, 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 utile però, però non mi ricordo, hai, sei mai stato in Inghilterra per un periodo, no, mai negli cioè, Stati si, Uniti, Sì, sono stato qualche volta, però, sì, per, però per, per imparare, per come me, ad esempio, anche per... in Italia. Ho fatto degli scambi scolastici, però per poco tempo, una settimana, mm. due settimane. Forse una settimana no, non è niente, quello. però poco, po poco sempre tempo, immerso. Sì, sì però vera. quello mm. non ha avuto, ha avuto un impatto minimo sul mio inglese in realtà. Mm. E... Quindi ho fatto questo esame, ho iniziato a parlare con sconosciuti su internet. E... Tra l'altro lo facevo anche con mio fratello, uh, vivevo casa dei miei genitori con, con mio fratello e anche lui era molto appassionato. Questa era una cosa bella perché insieme imparavamo l'inglese, parlavamo... That's very, that's very wholesome, I know. <ride> Eravamo app entrambi appassionati, parlavamo su Skype in mm. due con altre persone, cioè nella stessa stanza. No? E... E niente, quindi in questo modo ho iniziato a parlare, ho conosciuto un po' di persone, la maggior parte... Cioè... Non le sento più. Non è facile poi trovare partner linguistici con cui mm. creare un, uno scambio che dura tanto. Però sì, sì, sono migliorato molto in quel modo e, e niente, il mio amore per l'inglese è, è esploso in, in quegli anni. Per quanto riguarda proprio la pronuncia, per entrare nel dettaglio della pronuncia... Sì. Mh, Cominciavi con un um, pronuncio più britannica, poi passavi all'americana? Bella domanda, non mi ricordo esattamente. Penso che mm. per molto tempo... Penso avessi una, una pronuncia mista, perché comunque sentivo sicuramente più, più americano, più, più inglese americano. Però penso che fosse un misto. Io mi ricordo che a un certo punto ho, ho preso la, la decisione di, di parlare inglese americano ho detto non voglio questo misto mm. voglio parlare in un modo coerente 
Fatimen de la um, Patisserie yeah, has a question to this exact thing. How do you avoid developing a hodgepodge accent, which I have in Italian, for example, because I studied in Florence and right. and in Salerno. More recently, I've been spending time in Rome. Well, I think so. I'm all over the place. When you're learning Italian, Italian, it's much harder to avoid a hodgepodge accent because really? it's not like you can only listen to Romans or. People. I mean, you, you can if you want, and if you live in Italy, it's much easier to. And you listen to one variety of Italian, but like if you, um, if you're learning from abroad, it's 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 hard. It's hard to avoid that because you don't know. Um, I mean, like I I can identify. Like I always love um, seeing Toto a Milano and that lovely scene because I can hear it because the scene itself is teaching me through the comedy that oh that's a Milanese accent these are right. uh, meridional meridional accents so I you know I get that and then of course from my experience living in uh, a little bit in Florence living a little bit in uh, Campania I can pick up some obvious features of accents but the subtleties that a native can pick up like um, yeah like I I can pick up things. Uh, varieties of American accents just because I like language so much and like you I have a uh, now I've developed an ear for the subtleties right. where I can hear accents that my family members might not detect I can say oh I think he's from Michigan I think he's from um, yeah that's very uh, cool. Texas or something based on little little factors yeah. that might not be obvious to most people and I want to get closer to that um, because it's part of the in reality Italian, you mean you in wanna, Italian you be yeah. able to do the same in Italian yeah I want to I want to do the same in English I would like to be able to identify American accents yeah. um, better than I can now I mean I, I, I can identify the, the you know the obvious you know accents like southern accent or New York accent Boston accent oh accent. why would you avoid a New York accent we like hey oh hey we got yeah. that's influenced very strongly no I'm a big fan from of the, uh, the New Italian. York accent They're... I'm not I don't think I do it well so I don't want to embarrass it's, myself no but va bene no it's pero, I have no problem embarrassing pero myself, no non so dirti che ne so questa persona viene da Tennessee o questa persona è, non so Oregon no no non so queste differenze oh I don't think we have I don't think that's obvious to any the average Shall I say uh, they have to be like more pronounced a little bit more yeah. uh, than that? I but think all... I would. I'm, I don't know. Maybe this is my bias because I'm Italian. I think there's more variety of accents in Italian. I'm not sure oh, if that's I true agree. though. Well, I, you have like, thousands if we, if of If you're comparing Italian and American English, of course, if you're taking you know all varieties of English, then there's a huge variety of, of accents in, in English as well. But oh, I definitely if, think if we're comparing there's... the U.S. and Italy. I think. Well, you literally have multiple languages. Are we, well, yeah, as far as... we do. I, yeah, actually, we do. So Right, you have hundreds I was of just talking. I was just thinking of, you know, accents in Italian. So, like, Itali Italiano regionale or Italiani sure. regionali. So, varieties of Italian which are influenced by the, um, by the dialect, by the, what's it called? S substratum. <laughs> do you use yeah. that word? Yeah, substratum. Substrated. Absolutely. It's very so, good. Yeah. Sostrato, sostrato del dialetto. Cioè il dialetto influenza l'italiano mm. regionale. Um, so, e di, che, e di che cosa stavo parlando, quindi? Uh, parlavamo come, di come evitare questo hodge, yeah. come evitare questo, yeah, I, you don't, questa um, confusione? I, it might depend in, in Mendel if you have a more specific situation. I don't know if you're an English learner or an mm -hmm. Italian learner or we can speak sì. on, the, on that Se subject. Se impari l'inglese... Sì. Non, non, so se, non so se rispondere in italiano o in inglese. Rispondi in italiano, spero che la persona che ha fatto la domanda capisca l'italiano. <laughs> you don't understand Mendel, then... Se non capi... If you don't understand, let, let me know. I can say that... I can repeat the whole thing in, in English. Però dai, rispondi in italiano. Secondo me per l'inglese è molto più facile perché... Come dire... Nel senso, puoi guardare, per esempio, soprattutto se vuoi imparare imparare l'inglese americano forse, ma anche l'inglese britannico, in realtà mm. ci sono così tanti contenuti eh, nelle varie varietà che, come dire, è, è facile se vuoi concentrarti solo su, su, su una varietà, immergerti in, in essa. Sì, uh, in essa. Bene. In essa. Bravo, eh, bravo. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring però back those the, the eh, però per, per, per come vita... Certo, alla fine uno non è che può... O meglio, forse uno non vuole precludersi la possibilità di ascoltare 
l'inglese britannico interamente o australiano interamente se sta imparando l'americano, cioè non vedo perché farlo. Quindi penso che sia una buona cosa cercare di, di, di acquisire familiarità con la pronuncia, la fonologia del, della varietà mm. che stai cercando di imparare, quindi nel yeah. mio caso dell'americano. Io nello specifico per l'americano ho usato questo canale YouTube che si chiama Ava e si chiama ancora Rachel's English. Ah, oh. è, è una... Mm. Una donna che, che spiega usando anche l'IPA, quindi per ah. me erano le mie prim- la mia prima esperienza di IPA, era molto interessante, anche molto utile, mi ha introdotto a questo mondo. Eh, le spiega come, come produrre i suoni dell'inglese americano e, e spiegava queste... La cosa, per esempio, di cui parlavate con, con il grande Raphael Turigiano due giorni fa, per esempio, che... In inglese c'è la vocale E, però prima di N o M diventa E, quindi man o e, land. E mm. questa è una cosa che ho notato grazie a un suo video. Tante di queste sottigliezze le ho notate guardando il suo canale, quindi s- appunto se c'è qualche, non so, un canale YouTube oppure delle risorse che si possono leggere, che si possono consultare per la pronuncia, secondo me è molto molto utile. Io sì. ho, ok, devo, devo anche co- ammettere che secondo me io ho un buon orecchio, quindi una buona capacità naturale di, di imitare i suoni. Ti piace la musica? Anche se... è metal? E per cui... Actually, esatto. wanted... sì, sono anche un musicista e ne parlavate su... due giorni Cosa fa. Suoni? Uh, piano, piano, tastiera, sintetizzatore. Ah, fiss, that's incredible, that's fantastic. Wait, this is actually uh, applicable, because um, Ryan asks, how long did it take you to be able to um, understand... Everything in the forum in English. Was your English already good enough? Yeah, I don't I don't remember again, but um I remember it was very hard at first because there were a lot of words that I that I wouldn't understand back then. But yeah, I don't know. It took me years probably, but if you're so excited about something, if you're using a language in order to do something with it as an instrument, as a tool, um It's not, it's not going to be a problem if you don't understand everything because you just want to get to the end goal, which is understanding mm-hmm. what, in my case, what the fans were talking about. Um, yeah, so, so if you can learn a language because, I mean, if you have a goal for learning a language, if you have a reason for learning a language, I think you're going to succeed much. Mm. You have you're much more likely to succeed in learning. Well, that's the idea of the compelling, comprehensible inputs, that it should be interesting. Like getting a tour of Torino, which I loved that one in particular. That's fine. Sure. But it's more then, than that. It's, it's, yeah. it's not just, you know, the... the yes, I, I guess the content is compelling. If, if, for instance, you're reading a forum where they're talking about, you know, your favorite band, I guess that's compelling content. But yeah, I'm talking about having an objective. My objective wasn't l- to learn English at first. I didn't care about mm. English. I mean, I liked English. You wanted to access school, the material. But, but yeah, I wasn't doing that to learn English. I wasn't, you know, going mm. on these forums to get language practice. I was doing it because, you know, I wanted to understand what fans were talking about. It's interesting. Uh, but then I developed a passion for language learning. So, you know, I, I'm, I like learning languages, mm. like, per se, because I like yeah. the, the fact that I'm, that I'm, able to understand a, a foreign language and I can communicate in it. Hmm. But so, at first it wasn't like that. So anyway, uh, yeah, I, mm. non so se ho risposto alla cosa del come sì, fare certo. il mix degli accenti. Sì, ho, ho risposto, sì, no? quindi fare. imparare le caratteristiche degli accenti e cercare di concentrarsi, di capire cosa differenzia un accento da un altro. Ecco, nel caso dell'inglese e del britannico è più facile anche perché sono, ci sono macro differenze evidenti. Forse nel caso dell'italiano, avendo così tanti accenti diversi, è un po' più difficile perché non devi imparare il romano, il fiorentino, il milanese, cosa differenza. Guardate mm. i miei video nel caso dell'italiano. Exactly, because, and that's, that's worth uh, uh, remarking on, since you have, uh, you, even in your earlier videos, you allowed your shall we say, native or natural uh, accents to be heard. But you've since done a lot of work to standardize your accent according to the DOP. What does DOP stand for again? I don't remember. 
Dizionario di ortografia e pronunzia. Oh, it's pronun even better, that's pronunzia. Yeah, pronunzia, <laughs> that's not much pronuncia. better. Pronuncia. Yeah, and um, yeah, the what the uh, La Crusca recommends. I now I have difficulty not retracting my S in Italian. La Crus La Crusca. That's Crusca. Sorry about that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, you're uh, sound but from, um, like you're from Bologna or from the north. Eh, meno male. Like you're but, a very uh, old person from the north. <laughs> Yeah. Sì, signor, signor Lucranieri, oh, di dove, nice. dove sei? <laughs> so, I love that. Um, but uh, someone was remarking too that one of our voices, I don't know if it's yours or mine, sounds deeper in Italian than in English. And I wonder if it's it could yours. Be, I, I know that. I'm, for, forse, yeah, forse sono yeah, io, non lo so. Um, it sounds deeper in Italian. Maybe. I know mine does. Quando parlo italiano, di solito è più, just higher in pitch. Higher in pitch. Um, and I don't know why, it may be because since I do more speaking in English, I'm more relaxed. I don't know maybe, what it is, yeah. but maybe however, I have been listening to it. tense and you, your pitch goes high. I don't know. Forse. Um, but I've also been uh, listening to more of, um, uh, which is actually apropos of my own uh, recent journey, which has been in listening to Star Trek The Next Generation, dubbed in Italian. And now I, I get to uh, sentire la voce del Capitan, uh, Capitano Picard, che parla così. Uh, controllo a lei, comandante. And that's, and then it's like, so that's, which is a little bit more like how I am, um, depending on the time of day, how I sound in English. And so I was like, oh, good, that's more in my, my range. Sì. So, I, tu hai una voce yeah. molto profonda, che nelle eh. tue canzoni in latino... Eh, sì, dipende. Yeah, it's, it's a qual bass la, voice. Qual è but... la nota più bassa che puoi raggiungere? Uh, I mean, lo, lo, you, one requires low E to be a bass, and I hit that uh, on pretty much every day. Um, but I, I can hit low C even in performance, which is when you're okay. excited. Um, but... Um, sì, no, quindi, no, quindi no, puoi andare molto più, più, più basso di me, la mia voce non è così bassa, non, non posso... Ba barito, più, baritone, così. come dire? Baritono? Baritone, com'è? Baritono. Baritono. Oh, sì, sì. Non so bene da dove inizia, ma comunque non interessa questo. <ride> anyway, no, it's quindi, interesting. Guardi That's Star more. Trek in italiano. Yes, and actually let me catch up too, because we, let me see if there's any other... Because uh, here we'll do a little, before we get to the questions, since people are asking for... There we go. This is a zoom. I don't like this as much. I like that. That's better. Mm, yeah. It's, it's yeah. Uncomfortable. Uh, saying <laughs> yeah. Exactly. It's like, well, it's too, it's just like, well, it's too, it's too you uh, know. That's... Yeah. <laughs> a little creepy. Uh, let's see. Um, this is a, I suppose, an apropos comment about the different languages. Sto cercando. Ah, ok, questa per me, e se ne vedi anche prima, fammi sapere, possiamo... Sì, ah, eh, non, non sto prego. guardando le domande in realtà, no, io, però... Io sto guardando, sto guard guardo Per una io. volta che sono ospite su una, in una diretta... No, non hai bisogno, <ride> io... solo che se, se vedi qualcosa... Però no, qualcosa... Adesso, adesso leggo anch'io. No, va bene, non... eh, fammi vedere... Sì, gra oh, this is great, thanks for all the comments tutti. Però, uh, co Domanda per Luke, come hai imparato l'italiano? L'hai imparato solo grazie ai tuoi parenti? O hai prof approfondito la lingua attraverso altri metodi? Um, no, I, my, uh, my dad speaks Italian, but I didn't speak that much with him before I first went to Italy. And then when I came back, it became easier for us to um, speak in Italian more, um, more regularly. But no, mostly just studying in Italy for... Oh, scusa, se hai chiesto in italiano, quindi posso rispondere in italiano. Mm -hmm. Bene, ho imparato a Firenze un anno lì, poi sono tornato a Salerno 12 anni dopo. Um, oh, sì, no, 9 anni dopo, e poi tornato un'altra volta. E, sì, other than that, no, I really haven't done much work besides that year um, in Italy, so that's, that's pretty much it. But now, però... Um, I have uh, been, because I, I really wanted to want to get better, and I remembered that I learned a lot of English from Star Trek The Next Generation. When I remember learning, of course, there's scientific terminology, so you learn about, you know, gaseous neutrinos, those aren't things, but, you know, you hear all these whatever uh, terms or stellar, you know, force fields right. or, you know, whether the real terms or not. Um, and also the use of language I always liked and appreciated um, as well as actually, I like the diction a lot of the actors on that show. I find it to be very, um, right. uh, very, very pleasant in general. So I, uh, I I've never watched Star Trek, so I, so I don't know. Okay, well, it's a it's a show. Uh, it, yeah, I, I know about it, but I've never watched it. 
1987 to 1994 and uh seven wonderful wonderful seasons well mostly not the first one but anyway the point is that i know it really well and i've seen every episode many times at least three four five right. depending on the episode um from from my youth and so i i know every line really well so i realized that wait a minute if i watch this dubbed I will know exactly what's happening. I won't be lost at all. I already know the show. I know every character. I know every moment. Um, there's no way I can possibly get lost. So I can definitely, um, I can definitely follow. Um, let's see. So the, um, what was I going to say? Oh, uh, that uh, the, one of the issues though I encountered because I never thought of doing this before, using Netflix or whatever to watch the same shows that I've seen before dubbed. Because I, um, uh, I, at least um, I think Americans in general, general, we never watch things dubbed, like Japanese things. I think yeah. sometimes you might find a cartoon show that might be dubbed. For the most but part, I, I, who... I, re I read that dubbing is becoming more popular now in the U.S. Really, because of maybe foreign shows in foreign languages. That would be, which would be great. To what extent? But I, but I've read that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that it's you know historically. Dubbing is not very popular, but you know. No, I can't that, speak for the English. But yeah, here at least, uh, it's very, um, very strange uh, to to experience because we just we see the disconnect between the lips and and so forth. But yeah. um, I, uh, I I'd met recently some doppiatori, and I was so impressed with the uh, the quality of their voices was like wow. Like I work, you and I, we both work with our voices and we know the importance of having yeah. a good microphone. And so we know that, okay, it's good to take care of our voices. But when I heard these people, it's like, wow, these are, mm, this, this is, this is something special. Even in, I, me, by the way, <laughs> can uh, you tell or is it, uh, not, not quite, not just yet, but in any case, I was, okay. sort of, I was impressed by, I mean, I, I know some famous doppiatori, so maybe, maybe you met someone famous. You, uh, you, didn't, you, didn't, you didn't even know. <laughs> it could be, like, it could be, I don't know. But uh, I was so impressed by by the art and getting to um, <clears throat> uh, by the art itself that I started to open my mind because I, I realized I was closed minded about this thing that oh I don't want to watch something dubbed because I wouldn't why would I watch something dubbed when I can watch in the original language um, but that's from but I had never thought of it as using it pedagogically to train myself right and now it you seems use, like a use it to your advantage right yeah. Which means that it's just especially as... in Italian because we have everything is dubbed. Maybe maybe it isn't in English, so it would be harder to to do it to learn um, English. But I mean, the shows we watch anyway are mostly well, that's American the thing. shows. You just watch Star Trek without the dub. Yeah, we... right, right, right. <laughs> yeah, it's and a, I... the opposite would be weird for us, like watching an Italian shows dubbed in English. I don't even know if there are any Italian shows dubbed in English. I mean, there aren't that many Italian shows that are good. I, I think guess, so. I've seen at least one scene from La Vita Bella dubbed into English. Yes. And it's just yeah, I, I guess you could. Yeah. I, I guess, yeah, you could do something like that. But any, I mean, the, the the quantity, the amount of stuff that you have in, in English is humongous. So, yeah, you can totally use that to your advantage by... Uh, listening to the Italian version, yeah. So that I think everything this... is dubbed uh, in Italian, right? So I think this is a. Uh, I mean, I just if this is maybe it's obvious. Obviously, you watch program in the language, but I think this is different, and it also pertains to that question asked earlier about how do you avoid a hodgepodge, especially in Italian, where it can be maybe more difficult right. depending on the show. Is that the doppiatori, for the most part, especially in something like Star Trek, will almost exclusively use uh, a standard um, Italian pronunciation, with a, as yeah, unaccented right. as one could possibly get. Probably right. even less accented than a typical American Hollywood program with standard English pronunciation, because the, the precision of that is part of their of their um, their art. Yes, and it's also the voices are clearer are much more, more clear in uh, dubbed situations yeah. because and they're, they're very pleasant too. Usually. They're pleasant they're to listen to. Sometimes so, they have their voices are better than better than the original actors. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And what's interesting too, if you watch, then I will tell people too. If you watch something dubbed or undubbed, in the case of an Italian watching, I don't know, Star Trek in English for the first time, uh, torna strano perché you're used to a certain voice with that face, and when it's different, it's weird for about five to. Maybe 50 minutes. If you can get through one episode, 
you'll start to recognize the different voices because at first you'll be like, wait, whose voice? Who was just talking? Because you know their yeah. voices. You could pick them out. But the, by the yeah. way, there are development, technological developments in that area because I know there's a startup um, that is trying to find a way to digitally alter the footage, the video, in order to make it mimic the dubbed version. Oh, like uh, uh, ooh, something like that. Yeah, cool. yeah, I read about that recently, and uh, that's pretty wild. But you know, that might mm. be the first time we solve this you know, disconnect between um, voice and, and lip movements. But yeah, yeah that's, that's, yeah, that's strange. I, uh, yeah, so I, I think, um, I feel like I stumbled onto something um, incredibly useful. Like you could, if someone is learning modern Greek, which I'd love to do at some point, I'm definitely going to listen to dubbed, because the, the Greeks dubbed a lot of things too, just like Italians. I'm definitely going to listen to a lot of um, a lot of that of shows that I already know. I started watching, and I thought too. Like, let me start with Star Trek because I've known that since I was sì, very young. Certo. And Come so, ora si sento e guardo ogni giorno almeno una una puntata di Star Trek. E ormai non so, mi torna molto normale. Capisco tutto, però. Uh, it's also great because I'm learning un sacco di parole nuove, espressioni uh, nuove. And I'm campo actually gravitazionale, my campo di forza. Sì, no, è anche... <laughs> is, what did I learn today? Because um, uh, I'm looking at my, my notes. Of, um, oh, where, do, dove? I was also learning a lot. I started watching um, a comedy that I really like called Community. And I started watching that in Italiano, and I know those, I've seen that show a couple times all the way through, so I know the episodes and the plot really well. I thought that I would maybe have more difficulty with humor, uh, and I, right. at first I do, but you can just rewind it. Now, the one particular factor with this is that there's no, su the subtitles won't correspond, because the subtitles are of the yeah. original language, and the dubbing is to yeah, go better right. with the lip movements. So yeah, the words yeah, could be very the different. adaptation for, for the... Mm. Dubbed version, yeah. Yeah. Oh, here's one. Uh, uh, um, uh, Signor Data, venga al dunque. Get to, the, get to the point. Get to the point, yeah. I'd never heard dunque. that before. But that's a great expression. And whether or not I use it actively, at least passively, I've now worked it into my mind so I can... Uh, maybe I have heard it before and I never noticed. Um, so it's, it's really... Uh, uh, sì. It's really been a great experience, and I would definitely because I think Americans generally would would not not watch something dubbed, but I think it's probably sì. better, even yeah. better than watching an original language thing for me at this point. Sì. Io non yeah. guardo io non guardo niente doppiato in italiano perché mm -hmm. preferisco la lingua originale. Però per te è diverso perché tu stai guardando, cioè per te la lingua l'italiano è la lingua straniera, e quindi la stai usando come detto a tuo vantaggio mm. e secondo me è molto interessante io no io non, non guardo non guardo serie americane doppiate in italiano perché ma perché posso guardarle in inglese quindi perché mm. farlo sì. e poi, poi perché come dire non riesco a farlo cioè a volte sono obbligato a farlo per esempio quando le rare volte che vado al cinema perché qui in italia almeno dalle mie parti nella mia zona è difficile trovare un cinema che mostri i film in lingua originale <ride> perché è tutto doppiato cioè la, il doppiaggio sì. è proprio molto molto profondamente ancorato al, alla nostra cultura di, di spettatori di fruitori di, di, di film di prodotti audiovisivi non so quindi siamo molto abituati a questa cosa ed è difficile persino trovare un cinema cioè ci sono ma devi andare in un determinato cinema a un'ora, non è così facile e quindi a volte mi capita raramente di andare al cinema e vedere cose, in, cose doppiate e non mi piace molto perché penso sempre inizio a fare questo meta thinking, meta linguistic reflection, ah, forse hanno tradotto in questo modo perché in inglese era così, poi dico ah come hanno tradotto male questa cosa, è naturale potevano tradurla meglio e quindi mm. come dire mi distrae un po' questo, questa riflessione metalinguistica. 
Però, però sì, per, per te penso sia un ottimo strumento, anche per, per, per chi impara l'italiano, secondo me è un'ottima un cosa. Se c'è una serie che conoscete, americana o di qualsiasi paese, mm. la troverete doppiata in italiano, se è abbastanza famosa da essere arrivata in Italia, da essere stata trasmessa in Italia. Quindi sì, sì. è un ottimo consiglio. E, mm. e poi appunto come hai detto c'è l'aspetto della pronuncia che come dire la pronuncia standard la pronuncia neutra sì. si trova in poche situazioni e il doppiaggio è, una, è uno di questi contesti in cui uno può sentire quel tipo di italiano ora se devo essere sincero ciò che a me dà fastidio del doppiaggio è l'intonazione ah, sì. la, la prosodia perché io io penso... io trovo sempre che sia molto molto artificiale. Cioè il doppiaggio ha creato questa intonazione che è molto molto artificiale. Io Puoi trovo Puoi imitare? Da... Trovo imitare, sì. Darmi un esempio, esempio, altrimenti io non imparo mai. Sì, <ride> Luke, gioco, questo sì, questa ricordiamo. intonazione, beh, grande campione, andiamo a vedere la partita di baseball questa grande sera. Grande campione. O oh, questo sì, è internazionale questa, ormai. Questa... Questa cosa con, con l'aria, eh, questa... Non so come si chiama. Mm -hmm. Sei tipo così? Eh, sì, sì ci sono vari tratti, tratti prosodici, su, mm. suprasegmentali, non so come chiamarli. E quindi... Supersegmental. <ride> esatto, per usare qualche parola, <ride> che, non, qual, per siamo, usare qualche eh. parola che non so usare bene. <ride> E quindi mh, la, trovo, la trovo in naturale, la tro trovo in, in naturale l'intonazione. Non ho nulla contro la pronuncia neutra, che anche io uso quando parlo, almeno sul mio canale. La trovo una, una media, è una media di tutte le pronunce italiane, storicamente ha una sua giustificazione, come dire, è molto corrispondente alla pronuncia, come dire, del, del fiorentino, come si è sviluppata direttamente dal latino però rimuovendo alcuni tratti come la gorgia toscana, quindi la hasa, tutte queste cose che si sono sviluppate poi successivamente nel Rinascimento, quindi un po' emendato da alcune, alcune cose. Quindi è una pronuncia mh, che ha la sua dignità e quindi mi piace molto, cioè adesso sto parlando proprio della fonologia, però parlando dell'intonazione io trovo che sia molto artificiale e che non è una media di ciò che si sente in Italia, ma è una cosa separata che non si sente da mm. nessuna parte, almeno. Questa è la mia percezione ogni volta. I, insegnami, un, non so, una frase in questa, usando questa intonazione artificiale. Ok, questa intonazione artificiale. Sì. Per esempio... Um, per esempio, una semplice parola come sì. Uh, sì, sì, sì. Con sì. queste, queste intonazioni sì. esasperate. Sì, sì, sì. Eh, sì esatto, sembra che stai sì. com compiendo atti. Pa perché parlo, penso che... Oppure, non lo so, un... reazioni emotive, per esempio... Mm. Ma come ti permetti? Ma come ti permetti? Ma, Ma come, come ti, ti permetti? permetti? Esatto, Così. ma come ti permetti? Sì, molto esasperate, molto esagerate... Mm. E, mm, e non so, non so bene come spiegare, però io le trovo, le trovo innaturali. Detto mm. ciò, um, penso che comunque ci siano tanti vantaggi pedagogici, come hai detto. Però questo è il mio unico mm. pet peeve con, con il doppiaggio in italiano. Il motivo Vediamo per allora. cui a me dà fastidio, no? Perché in sì. generale è molto buono, cioè storicamente è molto buono, è di qualità, abbiamo una lunga tradizione... Però questa è la cosa che, che a me non piace, no? Che secondo me si potrebbe doppiare usando un'intonazione più naturale. Eh, mm. Il fatto è che secondo me i doppiatori imparano quell'intonazione lì. Imparano mm. a, a usare quel, quella prosodia. E quindi tutti lo fanno, no? È, è una tradizione quasi, non so. Mm. Non so se è chiaro quello che voglio dire. Sì. Se... Dai sì, miei sì. esempi. Si, non, penso, non si, si pensa di sì, è solo... Sì, per me... Avrò bis bisogno questi giorni, settimane, mesi, anni a uh, sentire di, da, da te e dagli altri amici miei italiani eh, quando faccio una cosa, non so, strana, che è veramente really weird or odd things. I don't know. It, it, I find it difficult because um, um, it, for the most part 
it's it can be difficult to solicit feedback effectively on this point. And I think what I'm going to have to do is ask people like yourself, train me to imitate, like you just did, the doppiatore intonazioni, mm -hmm. the uh, sí. doppiatori. And that way, now that I'll, now I'll notice it. And then once, when I notice it, I think that's the key. That's a really good way to learn to perceive accents or other speech varieties sí. by learning to imitate at least a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then I can, if I need to avoid it or I ought to, because it's almost like um, having, uh, I don't know, learning to, what's a good example? That's something that we, learning to control our breathing, I guess. We all can do that, but we have to learn that at some point um, mm -hmm. instead of breathing as we're, or controlling our blinking or all these autonomic things, right? Because we, mm -hmm. when we speak, especially if we're fluent in a language and we don't have control of our accent, it's just whatever comes out. But then if we learn to control it in a way that's desired, or not desired, at least we gain control. So I think that's what I'm going to have to do. Cool. Yeah, I yeah. have a recommendation if you're interested Leave in, me. in hearing uh, like standard pronunciation in Italian, but with a with a natural intonation, and that would be this guy called Maurizio Merluzzo. He has Ooh, a YouTube channel. Ooh, I don't know the name. Maurizio. Yeah, Maurizio. He, because he, he is a doppiatore. I mean, the content, you might like it, you might not like him, He's like it, I don't know. It's kind of, sometimes it's kind of stupid yeah. in terms of, like, his videos. But, you know, sometimes it's interesting. Um, he, he talks a lot about animes and uh, different stuff. Sometimes he talks about, you know, I don't know, eating 400 euros of sushi in a <laughs> Japanese restaurant. Uh, but th the thing I find interesting is that he is a doppiatore, so his uh, phonology is, is perfect. It's perfectly neutral, but he doesn't do the weird intonation, the, the, the weird intonation when he speaks in his videos. Mm. And so and, and I think that's beautiful because he speaks with a natural intonation, but the vowels are correct. The, the phonemes, phonemes are correct. Uh, the distribution of the phonemes is correct. And yeah, so I actually learned a lot from... no. Non ho sentito, scusa. Oh, so, l'intonazione che usa Maurizio è più Seco normale. Secondo me è un'intonazione molto più naturale. Mm. Poi ci sono differenze, ovviamente, nell'intonazione. Lui, lui è toscano, se non sbaglio. Non, lui è di, credo, di Prato, una città in Toscana. Eh, chiaro che l'intonazione napoletana... Cioè, le intonazioni hanno anche le loro differenze. L'intonazione napoletana è diversa da quella milanese. Mm. Però in ogni caso è un'intonazione naturale, ehm, non artificiale, ma allo stesso tempo mm. l'aspetto la, della fonologia è, 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 è neutro. E, e a me piace mm. per questo motivo. Bello. Ascoltalo, ascoltalo. È un... Uh, Mendel, very, a lot of nice questions today, Mendel, thank you. Um, how do modern Latin speakers gain fluency in a language that isn't natively spoken by anyone? Esatto, que questa è una cosa che volevo chiederti, ci stavo pensando prima. <laughs> No, perché well, se io penso a come ho imparato l'inglese o tutte le altre lingue, no, un'immersione un in contenuti audio soprattutto eh, pazzesca. E quindi io penso, come, come fa uno a non solo gain fluency, ma anche gain, eh, come dire, questa naturalezza conversazionale, quindi... Ah, mi, uh, bene, vi consiglio di guardare, faccio live anche con Chris, um, faccio, so, uh, faccio de, delle live, delle dirette, delle dirette. Eh, ogni sono settimana. Ottime, sono davvero ottime, ti, oh, ti faccio di nuovo i complimenti pubblicamente. No, grazie. Ma è strano perché per me torna molto più fa facile e naturale. Per, quando parlo italiano mi sembra, oh, questo sarà un po' del latino, un latinismo, un altro errorino, tipo così, mentre... Sì, latino è lo cor molto facilio, sego non sentio me errore in fact uno S. I don't think I'm going to make a mistake when I speak. <laughs> And I usually, I, maybe I do, but I'm, I'm, more, um, I'm more worried. Ah, una vespa, ma Io in campagna. Anyway, um, so, oh, look, there's me with glasses. Uh, so, um, th I'm do, doing this series on Sunday. I have another one not coming up on Sunday on school stuff. And um, so this is one way, and I'm starting with very basic conversation. Uh, with yeah. this series. This series is more uh, intermediate advanced Latin because we're actually learning ancient Greek in Latin. So that's different. Yeah, and, sure. Uh, yeah, no, that's great. Too. But how did you learn? 
How did you ah, gain co- conversational con questo, fluency? Con questo libro, I, I using, uh, I, excuse me, I yeah. using, che pa- no, uh, io, io pa- parurare, parurare oh, ora, ora sono più giapponese. Anyway, <laughs> um, what am I, so the, uh, I use the book that I use here, which is called, um, Uh, Troutman's Conversational Latin for Oral Proficiency. And I use that to, uh, yeah, to really get comfortable with it. Actually, I can show you the... But, but that's only written here. text or does it have audio as well? No, I made the audio. And I, the audio is here on one of my, one of the playlists. Right, so you made, you made the audio. Like, the oh, thing yeah, I, I, you're right. The, the thing chicken that sounds hard to me is like, how do you... Like, for me, the main way of, like, learning a language, I guess it's through audio audio yeah. content like hearing people interact with each other me too convers I, I, and so like i don't know how you did that like how, how you I'm got to that level of fluency without having or maybe you did have the Eccola. opportunity to listen to people interacting in latin like hearing mm. them speak to each other that's something that you know I it's a little it. harder to do for, with ancient languages Well, somebody actually just uh, was mentioning early language transfer, which is a really great uh, channel, and uh, I think they have an app now uh, as well. They're were, they were talking about that in the comments. And I did a type of skill transfer where I knowing I, I knew German um, from high school, so it was, that made it that much easier to pick up Italian because I knew basic grammatical terms, which one normally learns in a foreign language classroom, like um, direct object and so forth. So I was able to pick up Italian, but then having... Latin, this is probably the source of my difficulty now with Italian, is I transferred my um, uh, my knowledge of Italian phonology uh, in order to reduce my Native American accent, excuse me, my, my native accent of American English. That sounds confusing if I say it the other way. Um, um, it, when I speak Latin, in the same way I try to reduce the accent in Italian. So, of course, I try to sound more Italian when I speak Latin because I find that aesthetically pleasing and, to some degree, historically plausible. Um, so, I, I basically... Because there are enough expressions. I mean, dico is dico. I mean, some words are just exactly the same. Um, right. Ti dico, in Latin, is ti dico. Um, I don't know. Um, ti dico la verità. Ti, ti dico veritate. So, and I kind of pattern phrases and sentences I already knew right. and new ones that I, I learned thereafter based on that. So I, that helped me a lot. And I, I do think that while it's not necessary, it can be helpful for a German, uh, a, a non-romance speaker, and a uh, German, American, an Englishman, uh, an Irishman, so forth, a Swede, to learn a romance language, especially Italian or Spanish or Catalan, uh, others too, ro- Romanian, um, Right. Uh, well, they're all Port- Portuguese. French, not so much because the language doesn't have stress accent and the intonation is beautiful, but it's very different, I think, from the other Romance languages. So, to, uh, but that's just my aesthetic um, preference. As much as I love French, I don't think it preserves as much of the ancient um, subjective or aesthetic qualities that I like to um, to put in. So, that, that's how um, to get the idiomatic thing. Like I just. Italian. You think it's yeah, but it's ideal. aesthetic language. <laughs> Oh, there's it's, there's all, it's always hard for me to, yeah. to, um, to value the aesthetic side of Italian. I always felt bad tradition. for you. I realized that yeah. when I lived there. I had a great friend, um, and I uh, still do, actually. She and her, uh, her husband are friends, and they live in um, Firenze. And she took me to, um, when because uh, he was also a university uh, student when I was at uh, University of Flor- Florence, and she took me to, oh, let's, let's go to a Russian class. And, and she's like, oh, Russian's so cool and beautiful and that's really amazing uh, sounding language. And I, I had no interest because it was still, I think that was actually just my fourth month in Italy. And I was still completely in love with just Firenze, l'italiano. And just because to me growing up Italian, I knew it was something I liked and I respected, but also something I really wanted to attain. And also something, because I, like you, I started with music, but perhaps the opposite end of the spectrum, mic check, boom. Um, <laughs> On the opposite of the spectrum with classical music, so I've had to work hard to remove my. Ma io ho um, studiato musica classica, ho studiato pianoforte classico. Oh, certo. Sono, oh, sì, io scusate. sono molto eclettico. Bravo, bravo, no, scusa, non volevo dire questo, solo per il. il um, sì, sì, il sì. Lessico. sì. Cioè, mentre ascoltavo progressive metal, imparavo le sonate di Mozart. Mm-hmm. Imparavo... Bello, bravo, I can't do any of that, but I, I, so I started listening to and liking to sing on my own uh, arias and other pieces from. Uh, Mozart, in particular, Le Nozze di Figaro, Don Giovanni, I know really well. 
Um, and then a German as well, because I liked um, uh, Die Zauberflöte, the magic flute, Flauto Magico a lot. Mm -hmm. And um, so for all, so the two languages I was really learning a lot, especially when I was younger, Italian and German, became musically attached to me and because of, uh, of those operas. And, oh, stupid Vespa, so, I'm sorry, that's scusa. It's, it's okay. it's, 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 I know, it's fine. Well, that way, that's, wait, I should just not react to it, and I'll look more figo, so. Fai finta di essere morto. Exactly. <laughs> oh, they, thank quindi... you so much. Um, what are your thoughts on, uh, I can't I'm not sure if I can say it right, uh, Nawatl, I don't think I said it right. I have never studied it. Um, Thank you very much, by the way. It's really nice of you. Have you ever studied an um, American Indian or Native American language like Nuatl? Io? Tu? No, no, no. Ma io non so molte lingue. Non so molte <laughs> lingue di base nel mondo dei poliglotti, diciamo. Quindi figu figuriamoci le lingue native, native americane. Nativo americane, forse. No, mm. non, non, so, non so neanche bene cosa sia, da, da chi sia parlata, da quale popolazione. Uh, I, I think, so I, un, what little I understand of Nuatl, it has that tch sound, that, tch, that tch, a lovely lateral S sound, which I only know that sound because it's... Chiano in British English, in inglese britannico, non è oh, RP tipo... That's a little, yeah, a little... A little... Oh, you're right. Penso, well, I know it because it's in Klingon. Klingon, come si chiama? Klingonese? Klingon, Klingon, credo. Il Klingon. Um, that's, where, that's why I know that. Because Klingon is a lovely fake language invented, art, sorry, Conlang, constructed language for Star Trek. See, see, everything is just attached to Star Trek, Mozart's operas. Tu, tutto, accento, tutto, tutto centra con Star Trek in qualche modo. <laughs> e, quindi... un, po di, un po' di Mozart. <laughs> esatto. Sì. So I'm sorry, I don't know much about Noatl. Uh, I have seen some people trying to create good pedagogical, comprehensible input materials for Nuatl, however. So, um, uh, yeah, I don't know. I guess try Googling some stuff if you're looking for it. But thank you again. That was really nice of you. Um, Però, oh, quella, è la go. bellezza di internet, non mi stanco mai di, di ripetere. Cioè, noi diamo per scontato questa ricchezza di contenuti, il fatto che mm. puoi andare su YouTube e vedere appunto un, un americano che fa una diretta di un'ora in cui parla latino e interagisce con altri che parlano latino Altra fino a 15 pazzesco. anni fa questa cosa non, non era possibile cioè io dico sempre se i miei minimi successi nell'apprendimento delle lingue cioè se io fossi vissuto negli anni 60 o 70 secondo me sarei stato Gli incapace anni anche 90 sì. e io ho, ho alcuni dei miei studenti più attempati cioè più oh, I don't know that anime, è un eufemismo per... Attem oh, they're, they're at times. Esatto. They're, they're timified. Attempati. Time timified. <laughs> it's an eufemismo? È, è, sì, è un eufemismo, direi che... Attempato. Aspetta, fammi cercare per... Ho oh, oh, avanzato sapere. negli anni, ma non, non ancora vecchio, sì. No, non credo sia... Advanced in years. That sounds, that's a charming in English expression. That's tu, quindi i miei studenti più attempati che mi <laughs> raccontano di aver iniziato a imparare, non lo so, con... Uh, ma prima ancora delle cassette con uh, tecnologie che adesso non so neanche come si chiamavano. E quindi pensare a come è cambiato tutto questo è, è davvero incredibile. Quindi uh, mm. si dice spesso bisogna essere, bisogna essere thankful perché la, gratitude è un, la gratitudine è una cosa che ci dà molta, come dire, ci rende felici o comunque Bravo. ci aiuta psicologicamente. Rendiamo, cioè, siamo grati per un attimo a questa, queste, questa incredibile ricchezza tecnologica, ciò sì. che la tecnologia ci Ormai permette. Ormai poter avere una live così, beh, io guardavo qualche live nel passato, per, non so, anni fa, e mi sembra, wow, che cosa... Eh, però poter fare così con te anche Zoom ormai un anno fa chi conosceva lo Zoom ormai usiamo quasi ogni giorno per lavoro sì, è esatto, cambia tutto così velocemente e, sì. e diamo per scontate tecnologie che fino a mm. pochi anni fa non c'erano mm -hmm. quindi comunque si sì, stavi parlando di sì. mh, di cosa stai parlando? di del no, e... Nahuatl, Nahuatl. No, they're it's... taking advantage of the internet because now that we have it and uh, i nostri amici ah, più sì, attempati, sì, sì, certo. non... ma ormai ancora può essere difficile per loro ehm, abituarsi. Io sono gra uh, grato, sono, ero 
Sigrato, vuol dire. It's used differently sometimes in Latin, so I confuse myself. <laughs> See, I'm, I have all these dubbi in Italiano, but I don't have them in Latin. So <laughs> um, come, si, come si usa gratus in Latino? Cosa significa? Well, you, well, you can, it can mean the exact same thing as it Italian and English to be grateful. So, no grato, I don't know, for whatever. Um, but it can also mean pleasing. Like, uh, so. Ah. It's uh, qualcosa and, che mi, mi gratifica, forse. Yeah, gratum est mihi. It is, it is pleasing to me. It's welcome. Ah. It could be like benvenuto. Uh, mihi Capito. est gratum tecum collo. Una per, per tipo persona non grata. E persona non grata. Si, una dice, si, non si, si dice, beh, un latinismo, persona non grata. È vero, in italiano persona non grata sembra una persona not grateful, ma non vuol dire not si. grateful. Che non ci è... Si. Non è, non è ben voluta. Sì, anche la... Cioè, um, prego. No, vuol dire Marco Pesenti dice io ho ancora dei vinili di francese dei miei genitori, sì, ecco, per esempio. Imparare una lingua attraverso i vin mediante i vinili, rendiamoci conto come si doveva fare un tempo. Sì, e... Um, and, uh, cosa se vuoi per dire? Solo che... Oh, yeah, the... Um... Non mi, non mi viene. Well, anyway, the, someone asked you a question. Una domanda per Davide. Perché hai deciso di diventare un insegnante di italiano per gli stranieri? Sei un grande insegnante, mi hai aiutato moltissimo con i tuoi video. Grazie per tutto. Mm. Um, ma perché io stesso, io stesso usavo risorse podcast come come quello che poi ho creato io per imparare le lingue straniere, e mi sembrava una bella idea creare qualcosa di simile, un progetto che aiutasse gli stranieri a imparare l'italiano. Poi con il tempo ho iniziato... Sì, quindi ho iniziato prima con il mio progetto, poi ho iniziato a dare lezioni private, se non sbaglio dopo, e quindi le due cose sono cresciute in parallelo, mi sono formato sul campo come insegnante, non, non so se sono molto bravo, non, però comunque ho, ho fatto dai. lezioni e allo stesso tempo ho sviluppato il mio progetto, ho creato i miei contenuti, quindi le, le due cose sono molto intrecciate perché fare lezione a studenti che imparano una lingua ti aiuta a capire quali sono i problemi che hanno e quindi a fare contenuti, come dire costruiti attorno a, a questo, alle loro mm. difficoltà magari. E, e niente, quindi... Ma perché ho iniziato? Bah sì, appunto perché volevo fare qualcosa di simile a quello che usavo io per le altre lingue. Mi piacevano mm. le lingue, ero già appassionato di lingue, quindi per questo. Bene. E per, perché tu hai deciso di diventare un uh, insegnante, creatore di contenuti in latino, greco, antico? No, e... sì, è... Io ero insegnante del latino in una scuola media um, un anno, per un anno, um, quanti anni fa? 2008, 2009, so was that 12-13 years ago? <clears throat> Around there. So I, I had taught Latin and I created my YouTube channel Scorpio Martianus around that time. And what was I doing? I was doing the news in Latin because I was, th I like the idea of proving that Latin is a living language. And of course, I now better understand, thanks to Raf, the linguistic term of dead language simply means there's not a monolingual group of native speakers who all live in the same basic area or work and live exclusively with right. each other. So that, which is fine. You can have a, a dead language, which is quite active and as it is with latin today where there are many right. tens of at least tens of thousands of pretty good speakers yeah. if not very fun i think speakers. dead has this connotation of oh it's dead right it's, it's exactly kind of uh, right and it's uh, like not which is it more like extinct languages say um I don't right know, right, right egyptian which almost no one can communicate in but we know at least one person and um like we're <clears> tight <throat> or i don't know it, yeah sit tight that's a great one um although i do remember seeing um a book, uh, Beginner's do, do we know, is it recon recon reconstructed Hittite or like, I do you know? I mean, I think you could, you can read the literature, but I, what little survives, but I have no idea how much survives. Um, so definitely not my, uh, my campo di expertise. Um, so the, uh, <laughs> I guess that per dire, just that, um, I don't remember it all actually. That's fine. Uh, stai parlando di... 
Che cosa stavi parlando? Stavi parlando di... Ah sì, delle notizie in latino, che volevi dimostrare oh, right. che il latino well, si I potesse wanna... usare per right. parlare dell'attualità. Eh, yeah, cose. what's more ephemeral? Right. More... Pero ephemeral, um, ephemeris in, in Greek is ep, 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 epihemera, is uh, upon the day, so lasting for a day, ephemeral. Epihemera, epihemera. Oh, yeah, it's pretty, Greek is pretty nice. And um, so what's more ephemeral than the news? And therefore, what makes it evident Latin is certainly a, an instrument of communication. And people ended up, you know, they liked them. And But I did that and a few other things. Then I didn't do anything for like eight years. I was learning Japanese, I was studying a bit of Russian, and I just, I just, yeah, whatever. And then I wasn't involved at all with the Latin-speaking community. Came back to find that it had grown, uh, I think, ten times as far as the number of people interested in speaking the language. and started making videos again, and uh, and then I realized, hey, I want to have a channel where I make content not in Latin or ancient Greek. And then I created Polymathy, and here we are, speaking in le altre lingue, le, uh, come si dire, le, le vernacole, lingue vernacole, le vernacolari. Lingue vernacolari, i volgari. Vernacolari. There's another Stiamo Latinismo. Parlando un, vol un volgare del latino. Il vo you say volgari, in lingua volgari. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like the... Uh, there's another one because vernaculus or vernacularis are both adjectives in Latin. Uh -huh. And so I'm like, wait, is it una lingua vernacula or vernaculare? So, you see my... Vernacula. Il vernacolo... My il verna vernacolo... Credo mm. è tipo di... È un modo tipo dialetto, no? Un tipo di lingua, il vernacolo. Mm. O un registro della lingua, il vernacolo. Yeah. Um, oh, well, co cosa ne pensate di islandese? Che pensi? Ma eh, so molto poco, tu sai molto più di me sicuramente, però mh, so che c'è questa cosa, come dire, della protezione dagli anglicismi che sembra molto interessante, oh, del, sì. dei neologisti che creano... Uh, nuove parole usando uh, i, i morfemi islandesi per sì. uh, non adottare gli anglicismi. Mi sembra una cosa bella e anche lodevole il fatto che un popolo così piccolo, come dire, si adoperi per uh, preservare la propria lingua. È mm. una cosa bella. Per il resto non so niente, quindi non, la mia opinione non vale molto. Sì, I, I don't know that much more about it except that... Um, um... The, uh, the, I, I find it fascinating. I'd love to learn Old Norse. And um, thanks to Jackson Crawford's wonderful videos on his channel, I have had the opportunity to study a bit of Old Norse. And then I got into trying to learn Icelandic. And there is actually a really good website that I think is run by the um, uh, Icelandic government for teaching Icelandic, which is a great idea. Fund it because no one else will. <laughs> will Are there any Icelandic it. language YouTubers? I, yeah, I, I anybody... stopped looking, I think, after Here. 2018. So I'm sure by now. If someone, I know least... watching, if, if, if someone who's watching si. right now speaks Icelandic, is a native speaker of Icelandic, you Mi should pariamo. open a YouTube channel where you teach, you make si. authentic content in uh, Icelandic. Easy Icelandic. Easy that would Icelandic. be great. Where's the Easy yeah. Icelandic channel? We got Easy German. Got... Yeah, but otherwise I love it. I'd love to learn it just because I have an, an interest in, um, also in Germanic language. I really all Indo-European languages have some, at least some interest to me. Um, certainly Old English, Old Norse. Um, because, of course, they contributed, excuse my Britishism, I say that because I saw too many British shows, I say contribute now instead of contribute, because they contributed. Oh, I just, contribute. I, it's, I just, contributed. I, yeah, I heard, it was uh, Game of Thrones, I remember it was, um, was it Cersei? Uh, Lannister, she, she said, she should contribute to this, whatever it was, and I was like, <laughs> and I, 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 I never noticed before Your that was British. Con to attribute, contributed to a little. And I, and I like the rhythm now, and now I just can't get rid of it. <laughs> yeah. So it uh, contributed, ah, there you go, that's more American, um, to whatever it is I was just saying, which I don't remember, but thank you for the question. Um, right. Uh, oh, and then we have, qualcuno, ah, ecco, questo è importante. Cosa pensate, o pensi tu, Davide, eh, riguardo il latino come è insegnato nelle scuole italiane? Ma lo sai, molto ben, lo sai molto bene cosa penso, cioè insegnato, insegnato male, cioè insegnato in un, in un modo che non ti fa venire voglia di impararlo. Mm. Quindi, quindi sì, cioè, pe penso che se si usassero i tuoi video a scuola o si usasse un metodo simile a, a quello che usi tu sarebbe molto più interessante se si, se si parlasse... So che c'è qualche insegnante sperimentale che credo nella scuola pubblica prova, um, però um, penso sia una cosa molto minoritaria. Se Ancora, si facesse sì. di più sarebbe, sarebbe interessante, 
e, però no, non, mm. non si fa molto e, e quindi insegnato male e, e, i ragazzi odiano il latino nella mia esperienza quasi tutti hanno cioè, per... non tutti c'è, c'è chi ama il latino però molti lo odiano lo vedono come una cosa totalmente inutile superflua e, e, mm. e quindi non capiscono non ne capiscono il senso e... però mm. se almeno fosse un po' più piacevole si potrebbe discutere sull'utilità, diciamo, l'aspetto utilitaristico di imparare il latino. Anche, anche quello magari sarebbe interessante parlarne con te. Eh, mm. Però, come dire, almeno sarebbe bello e piacevole, interessante e divertente. Che sì. cose che non, non è adesso, come insegnato adesso. Dovrebbe essere. Sì, è un peccato, perché the per capita number of people studying latin, at least nominally studying Latin is highest in Italy. That is, there are, uh, I think, more eh, certo. students of Latin, that one could say, than in any, um, certo. anywhere Beh, else. Certo, il classico, il liceo scientifico si, si impara il latino. Il liceo linguistico, paradossalmente, non si impara. Really? Almeno credo. That is odd. Huh. Non credo si impari al liceo linguistico, però... Però sì, t- tantissime persone l'hanno imparato. Tutte, tutte le persone yeah. nella mia famiglia hanno fatto tutto il liceo, cioè i miei genitori, mio fratello hanno fatto il liceo, mie zie hanno fatto il liceo, quindi tutti hanno imparato il latino. Sì, però, però alla fine la conoscenza nessuno è molto lo, nessuno povera. Lo parla, nessuno tutti. lo parla, magari c'è chi si ricorda meglio le declinazioni, yeah. le coniugazioni, chi si ricorda l'ablativo assoluto, chi si ricorda il, ger- il gerundivo, sì. però nessuno, nessuno saprebbe nemmeno dire, che ne so, io mi chiamo X, ho 20 anni, cioè non, non abbiamo quelle competenze di base comunicative che, che tu insegni e cerchi di trasmettere nei tuoi video, nelle tue dirette. Sì. E ci vuole ehm... così poco poi a imparare queste cose di base, no? Dire. Eh sì, eh, come, come sappiamo, eh, bisogna imparare una lingua in maniera più naturale per impararla, per uh, come dire, acquistare la lingua, to acquire the language, right? Sì, um, direi forse acquisire. Perché acquisire, acquisire per acquisire la acquisire. lingua. Um, yeah, but that would be the... Um, that's really the thing. So it would be great if the Italian system um, kept all the Latin that's being taught, but then changed the manner in which it's taught, and then it would be great. You'd actually have fluent readers of Latin. Because, I don't... Parlare is... is Uh, for me, it was always an end, but I, that's more of a personal interest of mine to speak the language certo. and with other people. But all um, really learning, learning to speak it is a means to, for most people, is a means to be able to, to get the actual goal of literacy, of reading fluently. Um, yeah. But, Però come uh, dire, lo dici anche tu, no? Parlare o comunque sentirlo. A parte parlarlo, sentirlo molto ti aiuta a, capi- a memorizzare questi. No? Questi, chiamiamoli sì. pezzi, no? eh, queste sì. espressioni, no? per esempio io mm-hmm. sento la tua diretta, sento che tu dici in hoc modo oppure queste espressioni fisse no? e le impari, le memorizzi sì. eh, e quindi impari questi chunks di lingua per dirla mm-hmm. in maniera un po' grossolana e, <ride> come dire, è una, cosa, è una cosa molto molto utile, mentre se, se non hai questa esperienza e, e quello che fai è cercare di tradurre parola per parola, eh, diventa molto più difficile e frustrante. Mm, infatti. E in, inefficiente. Sì, sono d'accordo, perché... Eh, well, anyway, it's all translation. And... So, keep the Italian, that's mandatory in all those schools, but just change the metodo and we'll be fine. Just, I'm, I feel, now I feel like I'm quoting Amadeus, just... Just change a few, just, just cut a few, just change a few notes, and <laughs> it'll be fine. <laughs> Però, uh, okay. It'll be perfect. Uh, cosa pensate, cosa ne pensate delle lingue ausiliare, delle arie uh, artificiali? Io onestamente penso che sia fattibile creare una lingua mondiale, anche se sarà molto difficile. La lingua che si avvicina di più è eh, im, Imo. In my opinion. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> well, well, if I'm doing the... Uh, Um, Italianismi in my um, uh, English, vabbè. So you can definitely do that. Um, I have an opinion on those. What's yours? Non so cosa sia quella che la di- l'idepla, non so cosa sia. Eh, li- l'idepla, ma può non essere, non so, esperanto. Eh, eh, non lo so, que- allora, quello che penso è, cioè, allora, secondo me l'intento, l'intenzione è nobile, mm, cioè è una cosa bella. 
e non, non vedo perché essere contrario al, al, all'idea di creare una lingua mondiale o mm. sì, una, una lingua che non eh, sia collegata in nessun modo a una potenza economica e culturale. Allo stesso tempo forse è quello il suo svantaggio, il fatto di non essere collegata a una potenza economica e culturale, no? Perché alla mm-hmm. fine, come dire, il fatto che gli Stati Uniti esportino prima degli Stati Uniti la Francia, il francese, magari il latino... Pre- beh, il latino, ok, è, è, ha avuto anche tutto il periodo medievale come insegni tu, che insomma era una lingua franca e app- era una lingua internazionale. Però, mm. come dire, ai tempi dei Romani era associata a un, a un popolo, a una sua cultura. Ecco, il fatto di avere un popolo potente, una cultura, una potenza bellica, una potenza culturale, il soft power, e tutte queste cose sono sì. molto importanti, secondo me, e, e fanno sì che le persone vogliano imparare quella lingua. Cioè, c'è chi deve impararla. Alla fine, oggi tutti dobbiamo, tra virgolette, imparare l'inglese. Però ci sono tanti che vogliono anche impararlo. E quindi forse quello è il problema del, dell'esperanto di queste lingue, che, cioè, le... chi è che vuole davvero imparare queste lingue, l'esperanto? Cioè, chi ha un, oh, in... ci sono. un forte interesse, magari sono già language nerds che sanno già altre lingue, però... I, I, I found them. I, I did find them. I didn't think they existed, then I made fun of them in a video, a little video on my, my channel that I don't put anything on in particular. And then I learned what it felt like to receive an angry comment in esperanto. <laughs> More than one. <ride> no, ma cioè, nel senso, io rispetto molto gli esperantisti, però secondo me il limite dell'esperanto è proprio questo, che, no. come dire, non, eh, le persone di solito vogliono, vogliono andare in un posto, vogliono parlare una lingua con persone madrelingua, vogliono... Ma latino? Ass- latino? Ci sono più parlanti del latino, ad esempio, che esperanto, come sì. mai? Oh, oh, sì, sicuramente sì. Sì, e quindi, non so, questa è la mia idea, però, boh, non lo so. Se poi, ah, con il latino possiamo trovarci, eh, noi che parliamo il latino, o, ehm, e coloro che fanno esperanto, ci sono le conventions, and so they can meet each other. No, I, I'm, I'm playing devil's advocate simply because I, because I agree with you. And this is what Tolkien thought, when he, because um, he invented, the, he wrote The Lord of the Rings in order to explore his invented languages and how they changed over thousands of years, which is a really interesting idea and makes sense for him. And he, I remember his comment on Esperanto was that it would never have a chance of succeeding because it um, didn't have any myths. And the, that is the essence of culture, um, which is exactly what you're talking about. And I, I believe now Esperanto speakers have developed a kind of cosmopolitan or, or um, international type culture, yeah, maybe, which, which Maybe exists. I don't know enough about it, so I, I know very little about but the I culture mean, of Esperanto speakers, so maybe... The, I'm sure there are movies, I'm sure there are books, but... Could yeah. there be? I guess. There must be some. But it, there's, yeah, some, there's it's, something, but... It makes you know, speaking it, Latin You can't look. even compare it with Latin, because if you want to yeah. learn Latin, there's, you know, infinite amount of, of content of... Of books of you know, the majority of books ever written before at least is in Latin, yeah. De- ten years ago was uh, it's not yeah. the same with Esperanto, yeah. So Latin has like million, uh, not millions, <laughs> thousands of years of um, <laughs> glorious history. Uh, yeah. Esperanto doesn't really have that, you know, right? That and much history to it, so that could be a yeah. Problem. Yeah, ultimately, my opinion yeah. on art, uh, auxiliary constructed languages. Yeah, the, the noble, the, the intent is noble as well, um, because language carries culture with it, and obviously, the music, the 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 metal that you like to listen to, and still do, I imagine, um, the time movies time. and cinema. The, the, what's that? From time to time, yeah, I do. <laughs> sure, cool. I'm still and, a fan of the same of that band that I used to listen in middle school. So yeah, and depending on stuff, they're not movies and TV that are in in English are um, distributed around the world and therefore things that come from those countries, whether it's from the UK or from the US uh, or other places, um, will carry our ideas with them. And so, and I uh, fully respect people not necessarily wanting to have, because actually it's interesting, 
um, we know that Hollywood doesn't represent American culture because we always say we always think of Hollywood as this something other which doesn't represent us because of the, like as, uh, the typical uh, idea of an American action movie might be Die Hard or something, which is of course right. a great movie. Um, but um, you know, explosions and action and all these things, right. and like that's what it's you know, guns and danger and you know, and it's really and, uh, a normal day in America. <laughs> that's what right, we, and it's not. It looks like the, <laughs> it, I'd say oh, so you uh, don't having, have explosions everywhere. You don't go out of the house, and you know you have no. There are plenty of uh, well, you're a helicopter pilot, so yeah, yeah, you're kind of. I used to. Yeah. I my <laughs> I did enjoy for Do a little you make while things having explode. <laughs> Not lately. Um, I mean, you used a, to, a, a jet engine, which power the two jet engines, which power well, actually they're three jet. Yeah, engines, so you see, which yeah. power the the. Uh, so you put my point. That's explosive. actually what. <laughs> Kick the tires and light the fires. Oh, that's Independence Day. Another great action movie. Well, great, right, very yeah. popular action movie. Um, but uh, yeah, it's um, there. It's pretty. Actually, I'd, I'd say living, having lived in both Europe and the U.S., it's pretty much the same, as far as like those those characters. There is dots of differences, but there's differences in every country. But if one were to generalize the European living experience or the and the American one, it's essentially the same. It's like assuming you watch La Vita Bella, and every Italian you meet is going to, uh, you know, be like right. Roberto Benigni or something. I don't know, and that would be ridiculous sure, and right. wrong. Or everyone's going to be like Totò. Uh, you know, it's it's, it's yeah. not going to be like that. Um, also, because you know. you've lived in you've lived in Japan, so you maybe you have that view of you know how that's it is a different in, place. In, in, yeah. That's definitely different. Yeah, I think a, a little bit a little bit like in language learning. If you only learn Indo-European languages, like like I do, so I, but but I know that like if I would learn a non-European Indo-European language, I would like Indo-European languages would look more alike. If that makes sense, mm. because I'm learning something that's completely different in terms of, you know, syntax and vocabulary mm. and, and, and grammar in general. So, like, if you compare German and Italian, uh, they don't look that different from each other, right? Because they have so much, so much in right. common. And maybe, Dual, maybe, yeah. maybe that's that could be applied to culture as well. That, that could be a metaphor of. Oh yeah, I'm one of the culture. Like, it, like yeah, if you certain. if you live in Italy and the, and in in the U.S. only. Yeah, there are some differences. There are some cultural differences. But then, if you go to live to a place in a place where, um, like, the culture is mm. is not European, it's not uh, a Western type of culture, then everything looks different. Like, it's a different, totally different perspective, maybe. Yeah, but I think there's something for that for sure. And uh, no, uh, Noemi uh, Meledu, I think that, am I saying right? Meledu, I'm assuming she's uh, Sar Sarda based on the name, um, asked if I'm going to learn Sardinian. I would love to um, because it would, I um, not just, Dove it is interesting. I in contenuti? A, oh. I contenuti in Sardo. Aspettiamo i contenuti. Dove sono i contenuti? Eh, quello, quello, che se, quello che so io è che il Sardo è molto poco parlato oggigiorno, almeno questa è la mia impressione. Mm che sia un po', un po' a rischio, poi magari non mi ricordo il nome della persona, può, può dirci se è vero, però mi sembra che i, i giovani non lo parlino molto, si stia un po' perdendo, quindi sarebbe mm. un peccato. C servono anche contenuti per questo motivo, secondo me, per sì. tenere una, una traccia di queste lingue che, che rischiano di scomparire. Mm. E, e riguardo... Um... Sì, i contenuti. Another thing too, I've I've asked, um, I've mentioned it or talked about my interest and love of. Uh, uh, I, I like I like Sardinian a lot for a lot of reasons. For one, it's one of the most conservative of all the Romance languages, and therefore, uh, <laughs> majority part of, most people like Sardinian because of its beaches. <laughs> you like oh, really? It because it's the most conservative. It's <laughs> Well, yeah. part, uh, it's a very nice place. Well, lots, down, lots, I'm sure they speak English. Lots of great nature, lots of great beaches, lots of great sounds, cities. Sounds yeah, great. It's a very nice place. It sounds like a large version of Catalina <laughs> Island off of <laughs> the California coast. No, I um, I love to uh, I mean to visit too, but really it being someone who's constantly is studying ancient phonology and grammatical changes, the informal types of Latin and. You know, there's so much that I've learned from, but the little that I know about Sardinian, which has informed my understanding of um, 
Latin phonology and pronunciation and a lot of things I say on this channel. Um, but my conoscenza is still very poca at this point. And what I, um, when I, and I mentioned this to different people and they said, oh, well, let, let me give you this dictionario of Italian to, and, and they're like, and they just pick it up. And I'm like, no, no you, need, you need grammar and <laughs> syntax. Impara dal context. dictionario. No, 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 have... funziona così. And sì, i dizionari ci sono. Per, per il yeah. siciliano, per il piemontese, per il veneto, il napoletano, trovi tutti i dizionari. Però quello Or che manca, have... secondo me, sono yeah. i contenuti, sono... Audio visual. Video, manca il look Ranieri del, del e Davide Gemello, manca, da, ma, manca Davide G Gemeddu. Where's, Gemeddu. Where's, uh, uh, Ube, where's, how is it? Uve? It's Ube, yeah. Is it Ube or Uve? Il Sardo? And it's, is it Uve? it's Uve. Uh, Uve est, Uve est. Dove sei, uh, Rafael est, uh, Torrigiano? Davide sì. Gemeddu. <laughs> Geme sì, Gemeddu. Serve, Davide serve... Gemeddu. <laughs> I think I, che, right cioè, se, servirebbero contenuti in queste lingue lo dico sempre in napoletano, in siciliano il, fa il fatto che magari le persone che i madrelingua non sono interessati perché non vedono un possibile mercato e, e capisco che magari, magari hanno anche ragione non so, però boh, sarebbe bello, sarebbe bello. Non, non deve essere un lavoro poi cioè si può anche fare a tempo perso come diciamo noi, si può anche fare così per, come dire, per, come hobby, come interesse, e cercare di aiutare le persone che, che magari sono davvero interessate a, al sardo, o almeno a sentire il sardo, o al, o al siciliano, non so, l'abruzzese. Sì, eh, Andrea oh. Meu dice... Oh, chi, chi dice? Scusa, uh -huh. questo? Sì, cioè, i giovani Parlando non lo della... parlano, ma spesso usano parole in sì. sardo all'interno delle frasi in italiano. Nei paesi gli anziani parlano anche solo in sardo. Eh, mm. Bene, mi fa piacere. Il fatto che gli anziani... No, la generazione degli anziani tra un po' scompare e, e gli, anziani... gli anziani usano solo delle parole. Eh, cioè, scusa, i giovani usano solo delle parole in italiano e i loro figli nemmeno quelle. E quindi vedi come in due generazioni rischia di scomparire la lingua, secondo me, no? I agree. Um, have you, have you, sei stato in Abruzzo? Sì, sono stato. Beh, dove? Pescare. Sono stato... No, sai, non sono... sono stato in questa località chiamata Vasto, località marittima. Oh. Non sono, non sono stato Sembra... anni, anni fa molto stretto, prendendo immagino. uno di questi treni scomodissimi in Italia che, che, che viaggiano per ore e ore e ore senza aria condizionata. <ride> e, e niente. Mm. Però sì, anni fa andai in vacanza in questa sì. località abruzzese. Io sì, 2005 anni, anni fa, però a Guardia Grere, anche a Roccaraso, dove sono nati uh, il nonno e la nonna, sì, sono perché sono mezzo abruzzese. Sì. sì, sono, sono mezzo abruzzese. Yeah. I, I thought about um, killing the um, wasp friend here live on screen, but I thought, actually, perché voglio essere più italianizzato, ho la Vespa. Uh -huh. So, it's fine. Uh, so, do you have a Vespa? <laughs> Non farti pungere, mi raccomando, non farti pungere. They're, they're quite tame. They allow themselves to be um, taken out rather easily, I think. Um, uh, oh, I'm glad you liked my, 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 uh, my pun about Vasto. Uh, no, penso, me lo sono perso. It was terrible. All I, well, I, I, I slipped it in between your sentences. I just said, non mi sembra stretto. It wasn't very good. I don't know. I just thought it was... <laughs> Forse era meglio non sentirlo, no, scherzo. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't very good. I usually, I do better, but I'm, I'm, um, I'm trying. I'd say that, well, man, parliamo delle um, advanced language abilities or skills that we might seek. Sure. We, we might yeah. know... Um, After one hour and a half, finally, we're talking about how to get advanced in a language. <laughs> I, hey, I started with dubbing, and you t uh, wait, let, we had to talk about your reading, because I think that's very interesting. Right. Um, so, yeah. But, uh, or what you currently are doing with English, other than mm -hmm. chatting with me at the moment. But all, um, the, uh, what was I going to talk about? How to get advanced, advanced in a language? Oh, wait, jokes. Language? Thank you. Exactly. Oh, joke. <laughs> jokes. Jokes. <laughs> you reminds me. Nevertheless. Um... I think that's a level, if any of you out there are trying to learn, whether it's Italian or English or another language, I think it's sort of a check. I don't think you should force humor the way I sometimes do. Um, well, actually, it's, it's more forcing so much as I can't help myself from making puns just because I like them so much. Giochi di parole. 
Highest form of humor in French, the lowest form in Japanese, and somewhere in the middle in Italy, I think. Um, but um, the I think if you're able to make a native speaker laugh in um, that speaker's language, you've achieved a certain level. I don't know where to call that. Where would you put that? Is that a, a B two thing? Is that a is that a C one thing? I don't know. I mean, I think you can laugh, you can make a native speaker laugh even with an A1 or A2, I think. With your type of sense of humor, with the jokes you normally make with your own friends in your native language. Hmm. Well, I don't know. It's hard to tell. Mm. I would say understanding sense of humor is also very hard. So if, you, if you're able to understand... Because, you know, there's a lot of cultural elements to it. So that's one thing. Hmm. Um, yeah. Like, hmm. like, how was it to live in Japan, for instance? Like, with the humor aspect of it, you know, making jokes. Well, I did thing, learn the word. Joke. I did learn the word for pun. It's um, oyaji gyagu, which yeah. is um, old man joke. And uh, what's that? Like a dad joke. Or something. Dad joke, exactly. We call it dad jokes. But yeah, you get good. And that, uh, I, 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 uh, well, I, I learned that, but I had, I found it very comfortable to continue doing that because my humor, ormai, what's ormai in English? Because ormai just so, I, it took me years to get used to ormai, and now I'm like, I want to use it in English. What is ormai? I don't even know what it is. I don't know. How can you <laughs> say ormai? Just, like, is it already? It's like. <laughs> By by now, maybe by, by now. now. Yeah, that's yeah, good. By now, because ormai has this kind of mm. fatalist ring to it. Like ormai, it's too Ooh. late. We can't. Yeah, it's ormai. Too late now. Oh really? Ormai. ormai. Yeah, ormai. Okay. It's like usually it's kind of negative. Uh, ormai, oh, maybe I'm using it too tempo. much. Italian ormai. friends. It was a troppo ormai. Fatemi sapere perché non sono. I, I can be very convincente, maybe with how I speak Italian, but I don't actually know what I'm doing. So you should probably farmi sapere <laughs> so that I don't end up in troppi yeah, sbagli. Yeah, so or, ormai, it's like, ormai è tardi. Okay, you wouldn't say by now it's late, <laughs> but si. uh, ormai means... Already, it's late or it's like already late? Like it conveys late. this sort of... Um, yeah. Would you use the word fa fatalist? Or sure, yeah. Fatalist it's Fatalist meaning to it, like... I wasn't uh, aware of negative non, non over time. Fare, ormai è troppo tardi. Uh, ormai... Now, we would say now. There, like, there's not, we can't do anything now. There's nothing we can do. Yeah, no. We, Actually, we, we don't say anything. Say, no. or, or, yeah, I guess we could say ora è tardi. Yeah, it doesn't work very well. Ora è it's tardi. Late. It's ora late tardi. already. Ormai è tardi. Ormai Cavolo. è troppo tardi. Yeah. We well, this is an interesting level for everyone to see. So we can't even determine the meaning of a word that we both know how to use in native and second language I think, from my situation, accurately, it's, definitely it's right for you. It's one of the hardest words to translate, I think. Uh, well, I felt very proud when I started using it. And it, it, it doesn't I've... have one equivalent. Like, it's one of those words that are very hard to find an equivalent to. So. I have a lot of those in Latin, still working on, on them. Which is an interesting aspect of not learning translation methods. Because then you, wonder, I think it's a wonderful thing. You get to the point where you're like, how do I express that in my native language? What does this really mean? I'm using it accurately, or I'm understanding it, but I don't know how to do it. That's another sign. You're doing well if you can do that. Um, yeah, when 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 words in a foreign language pop up when you're speaking a different language, uh, that's something that used to happen a lot to me. Um, in with English, with Russian as well. So I would just you know have Russian words in my mind when I was speaking I Italian. Yeah, how's your, it how's your it's not happening it? a lot these days, though, because I've I've been focusing on Italian. Actually, I ha I've kind of uh, stepped back from language learning a little bit um, in the past, I guess, couple years. Actually, I haven't really learned that many languages actively, and so I don't hmm. have that anymore. Like most of most of the content I consume is in Italian, so I don't have that effect anymore, um, or not that much anymore. But I remember when I was listening to lots of English content every day, Russian con content in Russian, that used to happen very, very frequently. So hmm. that's a good sign, I guess. Yeah, there's a lot of li expressions in Russian, which are very Russian, and I like them. Or just a li. Um, yeah, uh, magari is a great je. one too. Uh, yeah, Ma yeah magari. Those words. Yeah. Uh, this made me laugh. 
my jokes are so controversial that the Geneva Convention for me is the Geneva suggestion. <laughs> I think that's pretty. I I just love that. I think it's funny. Oh, someone asked. I think it was Mendel you, asked. You do uh, like a good pun, do you? I I uh, yeah, I'm, I'm okay with them. <laughs> but um, the um, stavo per dire about the. Oh yeah, the most conservative romance language. What you've studied, of course, uh, español. Puedes hablar español muy, muy bien. Claro, claro, tío. Si quieres. Oh well, we're, oh I'm sorry. I didn't realize we're attracting the S that far back. I can I can keep up. <laughs> she's so she's a show. Okay, español. So um, how how do you what do you think is the most conservative romance language? I don't know. The I mean, major. I Let's go you. with if the five national. If you say Sardinian, I trust you. Most people seem to agree on that. Well, so actually, that I don't think my opinion really matters on this issue. Die. <laughs> yeah, it was yes, it is to me because I don't. It's not. I don't speak Latin, answered. so uh, it's hard for me to compare it. Like if conservative nice. means like con nice conservative Latin bro. elements. Fino a capitolo sedici cosa in famiglia romana. Fino a capitolo sedici giusto. Anche, anche, anche più avanti sono andati. Sono andati ah, avanti, se avanza. Ormai. Per me sono fermato. Se avanza. Is that right? Is that right? Or my... ormai no, perché, sei perché non è negativo. Oh, cioè, ormai ormai sei on, arrivato man. alla fine del libro, è come dire, eh, ormai l'hai finito, non c'è più niente da leggere, è triste, è negativo, no? Oh, cavolo. Dire, ormai right, ho it's... finito tutto, tutte le sette stagioni di Star Trek, eh, non ho più niente da guardare. It's, it's kind of sad, it's kind of negative. I, I, I'm I just going to stop it. using it because I, I apparently never understood it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's that's well, that happens I, sometimes. I'm so glad this is happening. I'm learning on Sako today. So this is great. Um, uh, oh, I mean, forse sei, non so, è una. Oramai sei avanzato. Tipo pessimista, torinese, non so. Oramai sei avanzato. Yeah, no, I guess you could in certain contexts. Yeah, it depends on no, what you're trying so. to convey. Ormai I'm just going to stop using it. I'll just give up. No, yeah, no, I guess you could say, or, ormai sei avanzato, non hai bisogno delle mie lezioni. I, I, ormai a un livello avanzato puoi imparare tu da solo. Yeah. Mm. So, mm. It doesn't have a negative. It, it kind of ha has more of a... Um, come dire, un senso di qualcosa che finisce, qualcosa di... che, che si, si sta ultimando. Ormai something is changing. Sta, sta cambiando mm. qualcosa, sì, sta finendo un'era, sta finendo un'epoca. Non so, non so se ha senso questa spiegazione, magari non ha alcun senso. Mm. At this point, ormai could point. be translated as at That's this point. That's a good point. Yeah, yeah sì, at this point, eh, a volte sì. Yeah. Dipende. Well, uh, well qui, qui, qui dicturus era, there's another one. What was it? Che stavo per dire? <laughs> che stavo che dicendo? Stavo... Yeah, no, stavo parlando um, um, prima della lingua più conservativa. Right. Uh, of the, uh, let's take, um, we can throw in Catalan just because we don't want them to be upset, but Portuguese, Spanish, or perhaps Catalan, French, Italian, and Romanian. Don't forget Romanian. Uh, what, uh, <laughs> which... Uh, più conservativa. Yeah, of those five mm. to six major ones. Bo difficile dirlo. Non so, uh, se, se escludi il sardo, sì, forse, forse è l'italiano, se dovessi dire, forse sono di parte, ma forse è mm. l'italiano, forse l'italiano è comunque la lingua più conservativa. Uh, ciao Marina. Um, ciao Marina, uh, ti ho visto, ti ho visto tu, molto sarà. nei video di Luke, non ti ho... Non, sì, non... è che anche sta uh, sempre... Um, yeah, uh, Marina è fantastic, anche perché... Um... Of uh, of how well of you know I I learned you know, speaking Latin and Italian with her and occasionally German. Oh, and I was going to bring up earlier because um, uh, this was about the mixing of um, of accents because how beautifully she acquired British accents, the British accent in right. speaking English, which as much as I admire your American accent, I admire her British accent when uh, when she speaks, and I find it really nice, and that's something that I would like to do too because I think. One could have a kind... I think it's totally fine for someone to have a... Do you want to have a British have accent? You, you don't? <laughs> do you want to put on a British accent in your videos? <laughs> me? Or, or you? No, you. Or, or me? Well, can, can I? I don't, don't know. I can try, but you should do it. I'm not sure. Can you? Can you? I don't know. No. I'm not, not really good at doing British accents. I haven't had much practice. It's good. No, it's I it's wonderful. Kind of try. I guess it sounds a little bit a little contrived. 
No, it's that sounds great to me. I'll I'll take it. Bravo. <laughs> Don't know. I can't do that Is in there Italian. Anybody from the UK right now? I think there was Sam was watching us. Somebody from Bravo, the UK. Sam. No, it's not. Bravo. I don't feel like it's very good. It's better than I think. I, don't I sound like an American trying to, <laughs> to to make an impression. Of hey, America. native level proficiency. That's you sound like I don't know. Here's yeah. another American trying to. Do That's it. another sign. Uh, if you. <laughs> yeah. Um, Quindi, uh, si, uh, uh, stai parlando dell'accento britannico di di Marina? Uh, solo che, oh yeah, uh, and she says that she loves the British accent too. Yeah, and it's like it's great. That's my. By the way, that's you have a Vespa in uh, in uh, Latina Medina. I have a Vespa in here, and this is my Italian Vespa for the day. Um, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so the um, uh, no niente. So, uh, so so as far as I think that's an interesting. Um, I think it's worthwhile to seek some kind of clear accent and i think the only way to really do that if you don't get to live in one place for a long time would be to get some kind of training to imitate accents because you davide can imitate aspects of a british accent really well you're able to not do them at will um i cannot i'm able now to pick out a lot of the florentine things i used to say with my own accent which you know uh, hanucha used to be totally normal for me um uh but i, I don't do those any anymore because i was able to to um, um, deactivate that part of the language I had right. acquired. But I can also turn it on with some ease. You know, I can say, uh, you know, uh, mi chiamo Lujino or something. I can put that on. But what I can't do is intonation because I just don't know. I can maybe imitate a, someone spewing it, but I have no idea what's typically one intonation or another, not consciously. And I can't consciously imitate it. So, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, like for me, intonation is something that I that comes very natural. I have to say, like I, I I haven't done anything. I haven't done any. I haven't studied intonation in any way, really, like mm. for all of my languages. When it comes to mm. phonology and and phonetics, yeah, I, I think I think like reading about how sounds are made and. All of that has helped me a lot, but when it comes to intonation, no, I've, I've, I haven't done any of that. I've just listened a lot, and it's mm. a matter. Of, it's a matter of, well, first of all, you know, it's 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 a matter of picking up on these intonations and and how how they work. Like, you know, American intonations, for instance. Like, do you want to do it? Do you want to go to this place? Maybe maybe that's oh, a little bit very good. or something. Like all of these things, it's something that first of all you have to cioè devi accorgerti di come funzionano, devi notarle, secondo me. Mm. E, potresti fare anche dello shadowing probabilmente che ti può shadowing aiutare. Molto... Io devo finalmente fare lo, il video di shadowing. Io ho, ho, ho promesso un anno fa agli um, ai fattori di Patreon che lo farei, però ancora no. Però, I, Però I sì, è qualcosa... Non, non so, non so yeah. come insegnare l'intonazione, cioè non, non, sinceramente non sì. so come farla, non so come... Non so cosa consigliare, se non cercare di imitare, cercare mm. di, di fare attenzione. Però ci sono persone che, a cui riesce molto meglio, naturalmente, e persone a cui viene molto più difficile mh, imitare. E secondo me un elemento importante è, è cercare di rimuovere l'imbarazzo anche. È l'imbarazzo mm. del sembrare... di sembrare una caricatura, no? mm-hmm. Perché è una cosa che secondo me molti hanno. O, quando io a scuola imparavo l'inglese notavo che eh, molti avevano questo imbarazzo, cioè non provavano nemmeno a, a avere un accento, un inton- una, una pronuncia, includendo anche l'intonazione eh, autentica, perché sembrava fosse un po' stupido, no? Parlare con un accento sì. inglese o americano, no? Sì. Quindi bisogna togliersi questa, questa paura. Magari noi non ce l'abbiamo perché ci piacciono le lingue, quindi non ci sentiamo stupidi eh, io, dai, a sì, imitare certo. accenti in altre lingue. Però una persona che sta imparando, secondo me, deve trovare, cap- non so come dire, s- sbarazzarsi di questa paura di sembrare troppo, no? 
italiano se non sei inglese, per esempio imparare l'italiano, oppure troppo americano. Bisogna mm. apprezzare, no, questa... la bellezza dell'imitazione. Secondo me mm. l'imitazione è una cosa bella. È anche, oh. è anche un omaggio, un segno di, di omaggio, di rispetto nei confronti della, uh, dei parlanti madrelingua, non so se sei mm. d'accordo. Sì, no, sono d'accordo. Infatti, un'idea, un facciamo un altro live in cui ci insegniamo vari accenti eh, nelle nostre lingue. Um, I can teach, what can I do? I can do a few different accents um, in English. And I, since you've studied la fonetica so much, I think you can probably do at least a few different regions. And you've, you're wonderful videos which demonstrate the regional varieties. You can probably, even if you... Um, Even if we can maybe bring some audio examples, and because uh, we can share with audio here on uh, on StreamYard, that would be very interesting. Because I think that's what I need at this point. If I'm able to imitate at least a little bit, or therefore be able to consciously detect accents I can of different regions, I could then, especially intonation, which I can't hear it. I mean, I can perceive it, but I can't. I don't know what's what. Like I couldn't. Imitate te la posso far sentire io, te la posso far sentire. Sì, esatto. Yeah, esatto. Fare un accento make... milanese, un accento milanese va, sale un pochino alla fine sale delle parole, no, parole. sale leggermente sì. eh, alla fine di tutte le frasi, così. Frasi. E, e poi alla fine, questo è un accento uh -huh. milanese. Tac. Poi devi sempre dire questa, questa parola, Luke, devi dire tac. 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 Che vuol dire tac? Tac. <ride> È, come dire, questa sorta di interiezione tipica del milanese, un po' stereotipata. Eh. C'è un, un canale che si chiama Il Milanese Imbruttito. Il secondo consiglio eh. di oggi, dopo Maurizio Merluzzo, Il Milanese Imbruttito. Che, come dire, prende un po' in giro il milanese imprenditore stereotipato mm. che parla ita-inglese, ficca anglicismi ogni due parole, che parla, parla sempre di business... Poi dice anche altre parole volgari che non, non ripeto, mm. perché questo è uno show sì. family friendly. Quindi, ecco, quello potrebbe essere interessante per, uh, non so, sentire il milanese, accento, intonazione del milanese, <ride> per esempio. So, sono contento che, che ti piace. Però che vuol dire ta, tac? Bisognerebbe chiedere a un milanese. Che vuol dire? Insomma, I don't know. It just sounds like per esempio, somma, se tu fai un'azione fisica, non lo so... Come dici? È tipo, accendo la luce di fronte a me, dico, è un po' troppo buio, fammi regolare una luce. Attacco, tac, perfetto adesso. Come dire, here it is, ah, o qualcosa ecco. del genere. No, it's, it sounds like... Oh, that's like, it. Uh, like, tiens, sì, come, ecco, French. sì, ecco, se vogliamo, yeah. tipo, ecco. Tac. Yeah. Ecco. <laughs> Vedo che molte apprezzone in, in chat hanno apprezzato tac. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is, this is the Poi best. Poi questo è perché la, la, la A milanese, eh. la A milanese è un Ho po' notato. Eh. Tac. Sì, eh. Sono That's andato why I was talking a Milano, un po' eh. Yeah, A, ah. invece di A. Tac, tac, tac. Milano. Bello. Sì. Mila Milano, a, a Milano, without the... The raddoppio... I know things like that, there's the raddoppiamento... Sì, il fono raddoppiamento fonosintattico in un accento milanese genuino non esiste, quindi a yeah. Milano... A Milano, ma che vuoi? a Milano... Ma che Milano... Ma che, vu ma che... Ma che vuoi? Sì, esatto. Ma che vuoi? Anche se, anche se i parlanti milanesi più giovani hanno... Ogni tanto fanno qualche raddoppiamento. Penso che sia l'immigrazione dal, dal sud che ha un po' rimescolato mm -hmm. le carte... Anche qui a Torino tanti giovani fanno alcuni raddoppiamenti, tipo che vuoi, che vuoi secondo me è normale un po' per tutti, ma che vuoi. Sì. In alcune espressioni fisse si è fossilizzato, secondo me. Hmm. Too nerdy Fa forse. <ride> no, uh, no, fantastico. Ok, for, let's do that in the prossima live, perché uh, that would be very um, entertaining. Uh, and also I think it would be, I think that's what I need for my... Um, at least to begin to limit my, w the wanderingness, which is, I don't made up word, the, the wanderingness the, of my um, uh, accent. And uh, you certainly don't need any help, but it might be interesting, it might be fun to be able to imitate some American or other accents. Uh, oh yeah, so what are you doing now for English? Or maybe this past year, have you done anything in particular to continue to 
master English、uh, at a higher level. Not、mm. much, really. Like I use English every day because、yeah. it's inevitable for everything I do. Like,、yeah. English is just around all the time, basically.、Yeah. I'm not even talking about、like, English and all that. In my life, I'm talking about my life. English is omnipresent,、uh, and I, I don't、mm. even notice that I'm watching something in English. I'm, I, I don't notice I'm reading something in English. Like, I mean, I know it's in English, but it's not like if I'm if I'm learning a foreign language. It's hard, and so I notice that I'm making effort to, you know,、mm. um, plow through the text. And well, what would you want want to do at this point? What would be a next level improvements? Well, I don't know, because I haven't really put much effort into improving my English for a long time. So I don't know. I guess yeah,、you're, yeah. I could、fine. always get. I mean, you are fine. I, I would say there's nothing you need. Yeah, no, I could always get better. Like for instance, if、yeah. I could read more. Novels in English, for instance, I have read a few novels, but not that many. So that's something where I feel like when I start reading a novel in English, I see my 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 limitation, the limitations in my in my passive knowledge of of English, because all of a sudden there are there are so many words I've never seen before, and I'm like, is that even an English word? I've never heard it. So there, I think I feel、right. there's a big difference between. You know the the English that I listen to, even in podcasts, even in cultured、um, you have to really context, if you will, and the English I see in in books and novels. It's like that's why、so、I like Star Trek、words. because I learned a lot of higher level English vocabulary as a kid, and now I'm getting a lot of it in、yeah. um, in Star Trek, especially because a lot of it's very comprehensible. Yeah, maybe I should、me. watch Star Trek.、Yeah. You know, maybe maybe should, that's, well, that's my well, next thing. Oh, yeah, main thing. My vista, vista, oh, quest, 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 Um, mm. I don't know. You can always get better. That's the thing with languages. You can always get better. But like, if you want to learn other languages, or if you want to do any anything in life that's maybe outside of language learning, which you know, it's not that bad. Like, it's、mm. life is not only languages.、Um, well, it's not just for、languages. some people, maybe. Yeah, for some people it is, but not for me, definitely.、Um, Like, I mean, you can't devote all your life to one language. I guess you could. There are people who do that. Like Matt versus Japan, he's basically only learned Japanese, and he's. I mean, I don't know. I can't judge because I don't speak Japanese, but he seems、mm. to be really good at it.、Yeah. So yeah, you could do it, but I, I, I think it's more interesting to learn different languages. If we're talking about. Things you can do in the realm of language learning, like you can learn other languages and maybe don't spend all your time improving just one language, because it's kind of like a what do you call it? Un asintoto. It's like a asin asin talk. I don't know what the an asymptote. An asympt asymptote. This asymp. Am I saying it every what everyone? Asymptote. Yeah. So like you can get you know you、yeah. can get really close to exponentially native.、Yeah. Profici proficiency. I'm not saying I'm close, but you can get close. You can get extremely close. Well, native proficiency means you can have a conversation with a native speaker about virtually any topic with no difficulty. Yeah, and you can you can. But yes, have you have native proficiency. No accent,、honestly. you know, provided that well, you I mean, have also a good ear. But no, but no it's、accent. almost impossible well, that, to get that's native, very close that's without native. living in the country, especially. So,、yeah. if I lived in the U.S., it would be different. But you know, not being there. Um, I feel like it's impossible for me to be, to 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 be perfect, and so I don't know. I don't know if there's if that makes much sense. I don't know what the point is of spending more and more time on on improving my English. It's good. I, I'm I'm happy no, with, with it.、Yeah. It might not be perfect. Everybody can、yeah. can tell that I'm not a native speaker, but you know that's not, not easily deal, to be honest, especially when you've been speaking English for, um, uh. A, like I know you well enough now that I I just know your voice and I know and I know the for for a fact that you're not、um, American. But I remember, especially、uh, when we first started talking last year, I was just blown away because I'd never heard an Italian speak with that 
that level of uh, an accent. Uh, yeah, th thank you, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, when, very happy. You're, you're very welcome here uh, anytime, <laughs> anytime. And um, and now it is time to the lunch. And now it is already too late. It is now to the lunch. It is it is time to. The... Did you see what the when last my one mother the... she cried in the the TV? <laughs> did you see what the Assassin's Creed one I did last week? Yeah, yeah, I was very oh, very happy to see. Oh, I was very happy to see that meme in, in your video. I think uh, I, I think some, some people might be confused in <laughs> in the audience right now. Um, uh, I think people who didn't know anything about Italian, they didn't even know who he was, they just thought it was funny. Uh, mostly I was just going for the fact that the Latin was so ridiculously incomprehensible, it was... <laughs> Wait, but Renzi was pretty did good I there. turn you on to Renzi, or...? It was actually, I, I think so, yes, and then uh, Raf showed it, like, the day before I made that video, and then I, um... And then as I was making the video, I kept thinking, that's really what happens when I, I like, I make the video, I record it and I just comment on the Latin, if it's like the video game stuff, it's uh, I look at the Latin or the Greek. And then after I'm, when I'm doing the edit, I love editing videos. I don't know about you, but I like the um, creativity that can, especially uh, since I like pop culture stuff and memes and things like that. I like pulling it in and trying to time it in a way which, uh, if it elicits yeah, a laugh notice. or a some kind of effect or something, you know, I don't doubt, the vista. Yeah, there's, <laughs> there's going to be another one coming up. It's going to be obscure. We'll see if With you get Renzi? It. Oh. No, the Renzi. No, it's going to be something, I think, yeah, You could have Berlusconi. The time, the, the, time, the time George Bush made fun of him. Uh, so Berlusconi, uh, okay, Arriva, came David, and, and he, he says, he recites this thing he's learned by heart so he says something like uh in the i consider there's the flag of united states and uh, not only the flag of a country but a universal symbol of freedom of democracy a, a, and a that was channel. oh thank your english is very good <laughs> oh okay uh, quello è un altro, è un altro, well, no, è un altro I, clip che ti, ti consiglio funny. di inserire come meme nel tuo. Uh, <laughs> no, I would, I, uh, I maybe, but I, th I have that impression too. And I think that's a normal impression when someone is, you know, because so few Americans learn a language to fluency at all. So something like even a ridiculous, not ter terribly good version of English like, like you just demonstrated, would be, I think, honestly and legitimately imp impressive to someone. It wouldn't just be a nice thing to see. It'd be like, wow, I, I wish I could speak Italian like that, um, someone could say. <laughs> I know a lot of people who wish they could speak Italian that well, and they, they don't yet because they haven't had the opportunity. So, um, so but maybe. Renzi was, was a special, like, especially the way that particular meme was edited together, just like all these little clips of just the worst possible parts of his talk. We're, uh, Did you see the the good. song that was made out of that? No, there's that, a, there's yeah. a whole song made. There's a so now we're getting to dangerous meme territory, uh -oh. tra trash YouTube territory. Uh oh. There's this guy called Christ Christian Ice Ice, uh -huh. like I gotcha, who basically turns no, no, no nice. memes into songs. Basically, he takes snippets of people um, talking. And basically, using auto tune, he he makes songs out of them. Oh, he used to because he he's not he's not made a, made videos in a long time, I think. And so he made a a, a video out of of that Renzi meme where he makes him sing basically um, okay. a like a like a rock and roll song. I don't even know if that's an exist. Yeah, it's probably an existing song. Um, yeah, it's great. You, you should check it out. Man. It's a, a lot of fun. Well, that'll be for the uh, the highest level of... I'm going to send it to you yeah. later. Ma mandami, no. Grazie. Yeah, te uh, mando, the, te mando. Everyone out there who asked questions that we didn't address, or if you're watching this yeah. in the future, and you want to... Don't, so, uh, sono, sono contento. Sara pensa che la, il mio, la mia imitazione di Berlusconi sia perfetta. <laughs> okay. Uh, Ber will... Berlusca è un nickname per Berlusconi, nel caso non, non lo sapessi. Mm. Uh, sì. sì it, sei in, eh, qualcuno dice che ti vede anch'io ti vedo un po' a, a quadretti devo dire I, it's, it's fine here well but uh, well, that's a good signal for um, chiudere maybe uh, this for, for now but um, uh, if you had other questions or something about this uh, sì, argomento 
participe si uh, scrive yes. I'm totally lost. Write a Vai, comment. Le domande. Se, avete, uh, se avete domande, facciamo tre minuti di, come si dice, lightning round e poi ce ne andiamo. Abbiamo, so mi, sem mi sembra che abbiamo fatto due ore di cazzeggio, cazzeggio creativo, come diciamo noi. Mm. Eh, abbiamo parlato di tante cose, spesso senza un filo conduttore. Però io mi sono divertito, quindi questa è la cosa più importante. I think we were totally coherent. Do <laughs> you think it was coherent? Compared to my normal live shoes, yes. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, no, this is, like, this is how I like them to go. Very uh, organic. Very, very nice. Yeah, uh, so I'm looking at it. Let's see. Um, quindi, Christian Ice is now too busy with videos for <laughs> Nanoware of Steel. Okay, yeah, we're getting to, to meme territory here. I don't know how many Americans speak Spanish, but depending on where you go, I think if there are populations of um, Spanish speakers which are larger, such as certain major cities, whether it's New York or in the southern um, uh, parts of the United States that are closer to the Mexican border, you're going to be invariably larger communities. But even there, it's pretty small, the number of non-Latino uh, um, American citizens who end up learning Spanish. Well, that's my limited experience, which is, is of course, idiosyncratic, living in, having lived in San Diego, um, Tucson, and Arizona. Um, yeah. So, to, uh, but I, I, I think it depends where you go. Um, not, not terribly many, even though it's probably, I, I think I could pretty accurately say it's the most widely studied foreign language in the United States. Yeah. Bene, qualcos'altro da chiedere? Um, mm, mm, mm. Io voglio soltanto insistere sul fatto che sarebbe inter interessantissimo che facciate questo regolarmente. Eh, eh, ditelo a, a Luke se vuole invitarmi regolarmente. Oh my gosh. Let's do it all no, no, non c'è problema. Let's do, let's do an, an Italian accent a week. <laughs> Però mi, mi devo preparare, devo, devo leggere. <laughs> devo a studiare. week? Hai yeah. una settimana, sette giorni, è tempo, è tempo. <laughs> Se, se voi possiamo iniziare, possiamo iniziare con il milanese. Un, un po' sono preparato okay. sul milanese. Bene. Però servirebbe un parlante milanese, vero? Uh, anche mm. nella diretta. Perché se no. Mm. Uh... Well, even, well, even a stereotypical accent could be very um, uh, convenient. Um, let's see. Cosa avete mai provato su inglese? I've studied a little bit of Scots, which I made a video about it. Um, and did a live stream actually a, f a few months ago with the. Um, uh, with uh, a, a Scots speaker, which is, was really cool. I think that's definitely a fairly minor language with just a, a paucity of speakers, barely a million or so, if I recall, in Scotland. Maybe two million at the most, depending on the fluency level. Uh, what about that's you, cool. Davide? Despite about your native... Uh, but no one really speaks... No, not really. Names, I really. Well, there are people who do, but very few, fewer and fewer people. But I don't speak it, so I don't parlo yeah. torinese, non parlo dialetto, quindi... Yeah. And indeed, our, our friend at uh, Incolinguist, Norbert, yeah. is on, on, on uh, Lombard. Non l'ho ancora visto, non l'ho ancora visto, però lo sì, guarderò, it's in my, lo guarderò. It's in my watch later playlist, I'm going to look at that soon. Bello. Okay, well, we'll, we'll uh, call it here. Grazie mille a tutti per i vostri uh, commenti nel chat, nella chat. I learned it's feminine, it's la chat, right? Because like chiacchierata, la chat. La chat. I think it's like, uh, I assume it's from chiacchierata. Um, può, eh, può essere, a volte sì, non si sa può. perché. Non oh, si sa. Uh, and, ma Davide, grazie mille a te, sono contento. Su, uh, subscribite, subscribite, qua è Omnes. Sì, su, subscribete, subscribetevi tutti al, al canale di, <ride> di Luke. Di Davide, ecco, o di me. <laughs> Sì, sì, ci siete già. Bene, podcast italiano. Spero di aver scritto i, 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 i due. Credo, ok, credo scritto bene. Sì. Sì, è difficile perché non ho fatto la mia musica. Però, uh, oh, bene. Ah, grazie Marina. Bene, sono contento. Bene, ok. Grazie mille di nuovo uh, uh, a tutti. E Davide, ci vediamo per la prossima live in cui mi insegni un accento, forse, milanese. <ride> Va bene, un accento alla <ride> settimana. Sono... Alla week, sono, un, accen un, accent, un accent alla week. <ride> Grazie, ragazzi.
Ciao. Talk to you. Thank you. Thank you everybody. Grazie a tutti. È stato molto ciao. divertente. Ciao ciao. <ride> ciao.